Welcome to episode 59 of Insensitive Culture. As always, you know me. What's up, what? You know my guy over here. And that fool blazer, Ramon. On the other end, we have... And as always... Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out, homie. Make sure you check us out, Make homie. Make sure you check it out. Yeah, man. Uh, how you feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling good, Sunny, right? It's nice as hell out right now. Right. Shit's, shit's popping off in We're New York in State. Ups- we're in upstate New York. The weather's nice for once. It's going to be shitty tomorrow and probably it's the rest to, of the week. It's about but to today, snow on Thursday is what I saw, dude. If you look at the weather app, that's dude, crazy. it has snowflakes oh. for Thursday. That's opening day for baseball season. But that's too, also so. another good thing that about sucks. how far upstate we are is like that is way too far out for that to be accurate. So right. we're not even we're not even <laughs> counting that. Until until the day of, maybe, maybe the day before. Yeah. We'll we'll That's we'll true. get a little excited about what the weather might be like, but until then, I'm gonna check it now. I don't even look at that shit. Curiosity. I, ne- <laughs> I don't. You know, I, I really don't even pay attention to that shit 50, at all. Fifty percent chance of flakes, dude. Fifty percent chance. Anyway, fifty percent. That's like hit or miss. That's flip yeah, a coin. That's like any day. It could be. So we we're <laughs> gonna snow or it's not, right? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> we may get a little bit of snow. That's it. I'm not shoveling. Or we may have to wear shorts. Shovels are away. Shorts and tank tops. <laughs> We don't know. We don't know. Welcome to to Rochester, New York. Uh, right. <laughs> how's the weather over there, Johnny? Uh, not as nice as it was in in Rochester. I heard. Ro- I mean, they shouted Rochester out on the news this morning. Oh shit! Oh, it yeah. was like not 70, for a murder. Seventy five up there. Seventy mm-hmm. seventy five around. Like and, it's like sixty sixty five or something today. Hurt. Still a little. Still a little brisk. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. I heard. Uh, we had our fourteenth. Uh, murder Honestly, of the year. I feel so. like that's not that bad, dude. I mean, all the days we've had three up months until in, now, yeah. fourteen three months in. It's not like mm-hmm. one a day. Dude. It's not like the eighties in Miami, you. dude. When fucking cartels were just mowing down thirty people a day, like it could be. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. But, there could uh, be more murder. So trust yeah. Me. Well, you know, still. I mean, it's uh, a piece of those. Let's see here, unfortunate souls. How many murders have there been in New York City, Johnny? A shit ton. Uh, there were six this week. Six this week. We had fourteen yeah. in the, like we're the last as, three months. We're not we're today nowhere near seventy six. I'm trying to just make numbers work in my favor. Seventy six. Come on. Seventy six year to date. Seventy six. Still. All right. Well, on a brighter <laughs> side. <laughs> on a on a brighter side, uh, we have a little bit of uh, of news here at Insensitive Culture. If you don't follow our IG or our Facebook group or Twitter, I highly uh, or Twitter, I highly recommend that you do insensitive culture on IG, Twitter and the Facebook group. Uh, But we announced that we are now a part of D fat entertainment. What does that stand for? Don't forget a towel. Oh, that's clever. Ah, Yeah. So, uh, so it's make sure you have your towels. Right. Handy. (laughs) <laughs> so so now we're a part of D, uh, DFAT Entertainment Network, and uh, we couldn't be happier about the move. You may have noticed we have new cover art, new logo, new you heard theme new song. intro song. Yeah. yeah, new intro, everything. Everything is, uh, is, is uh, up to date, revamped, and it's just the beginning. So uh, I'm super excited uh, for what's to come. And, look uh, out for that merch. Yeah, and look out for Ooh. that merch. We're having that. Uh, we're we're getting that done, ASAP, ASAP, Rocky. So we'll let you know as soon as uh, as soon as that happens. But to all our new listeners, welcome. Thank you for uh, for 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 giving us a shot. And follow mm-hmm. us on on IG, Twitter, Word. and uh, oh, also we're on YouTube. So Ooh, yeah. and TikTok. Yep, and TikTok. Ooh, ooh, dang, dang. Follow us everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Insensitive dude. culture. We're on all the social. Look for us, cause uh, you want to be there early, cause we about to blow up. Fucking, okay. about to blow the fuck up, and it looks like I'm joking, but I'm not. We are. He's not. So get <laughs> get with us now. That. Get with us now, when it's cool. All right. So, but guys, with that out of the way, 
Uh, we don't really have a, a, a question per se, so we'll just go right into some goodies. Uh, some, some, uh, just some like Hollywood shit as, as usual. Hollywood. Uh, so, so <laughs> I need that drop. So, that, so you ain't got to even say it anymore. Uh, like, uh, I'll still say it. Hollywood. I'll still say yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, uh, uh, a big thing for us. He's your favorite. Over the weekend, Quentin Tarantino turned 58. 58. 58. Old. Yeah, that scares me, too, because he always said that directing was a young man's game. He wanted to call it quits and start writing books and shit, dude. Didn't I'm he not, want like for that? Didn't he want like ten uh, movies? Ten movies. Ten right? movies. I where, think, he's got, I think he's got two left. Really? I, it's either one or two. Honestly, I don't. Damn. I don't recall. He's right there though. Damn. That would be. I yeah. mean, at some point, you kind of want them to stop because it it, it can like fuck but up not, their. Look their at their Scorsese. View. How fucking old is Scorsese? And That's he still true. fucking kills it, dude. Like he knows what he's doing. I feel like Tarantino. No matter how old he is, as long as he's not like you know, dementia or something. Like if he's still in his right mind, dude, I don't see any reason that he can't keep making it. It's not like he's a stunt man or something where you got to call it quits. Dude, like you're fucking writing, directing, just do your thing. Don't ever stop. He has 21 credits. In yeah. That's just, no, those aren't all, but like his, <laughs> no, know, his, like his directing credits. Are you looking at directing or acting? Directing. His feature directing. lengths. His feature lengths. He has one, two, three. Uh, four, five. Does Death Proof I think and Grindhouse not, like the, no? Just Death Proof because Grindhouse was the comedy. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. This five. Uh, no. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I don't think he's counting Jackie Brown because that was from Rum Punch. I think oh, he so then, that so then him. that would be one, uh, one, one away. <laughs> You're like, no, why, I don't why, want it to be true. Why, why? I don't understand. There's no reason. I mean, he wants to have kids, I think, dude. He wants to do the- He doesn't have kids already? He does not. What the fuck? At what? Fi- First he of all, not. at 58, you should not be considering kids anymore. No, he has, a, he has a famous quote that he said. I remember reading it. He said, regardless of how old you are, he's like, kids do not give a fuck if you're an old parent or not. Like- you know, maybe they'll catch shit when you go to their graduation or some shit like that. Like, your dad's old, but, like, they just see you as their parent regardless. So whether you're yeah, fucking 60 and you have a kid or you're 19, yeah, and that's no your one, dad. You no, one will be, no one will no, be angry no. about... He had a baby last year. Oh, that's no, that's right. He did have one. Shit. With that chick that he just married, right? Yeah. I forgot about that, yeah. So he's, well, so he's, a, he's an old-ass dad, though, but still, well, he's he, doesn't, ready. he doesn't give yeah. a yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's ready. I would hope so at, at, at fucking 57, 58. So one more and then. <laughs> That's crazy. But that I, is uh, crazy. Michael Douglas is, is done worse, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, Jack, sure. I feel like Jack Nicholson's got to have some. Had one yeah. just last year. Young, bud. It's like a toddler and you're like, dude, you're. <laughs> <laughs> have one every fucking week. <laughs> as long as I can afford them, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a right. horrible. Okay. That was a horrible impression. It's I'm not the best. It's, it's I'm passable. not the best at impressions. Like We're not gonna call it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. That's that's the whole point of having a fucking podcast. But like, walk. That was horrible. Fucking horrible. I'll let the listeners do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such gonna, a I'm fucking hater, bro. I'm not gonna help them. Jeez, Jeez. let's hear. Let's 65. hear yours. Five. Sixty-five. See, Johnny, you ain't got nothing to worry about when someone gives you shit. <laughs> You say Quentin Tarantino. Word. <laughs> Yo, Johnny's going to have one. Steve Martin, 67. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. See? By the time that kid graduates high school, he's, that, that, he's not even going to be yeah, mobile. I mean, he's not even going to be mobile. They'll anymore. still love you. And that was his first parent. kid. That's true. His first kid. He's like, For I got to have Steve Martin, one. his first kid was at 67. Bro, they, they've lived such That's wild weird. lives. And I, I understand it, though. I understand. Uh, the reason why I understand is, like, because right now I'm, like, in my late 30s with three kids. And with everything that I want to fucking accomplish, the, 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 the thing that makes it the hardest is kids <laughs> and, like, the family life sure. stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So these are people who well, you are, would think that they would have a whoops. I guess, yeah. Being uh, Steve Martin, you know he wasn't. He probably, he was, he probably did. However, wilder, bro, especially Martin in the 80s. A lot of fucking in the 80s. I'm, the 70s? I'm sure, Steve I'm Martin. sure. But also when, with Steve, when you're Steve Martin, 
you have a whoops clinic that you send them to right afterward <laughs> and make sure that we have no whoops. Hello, Mr. Martin. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah. Right this way. <laughs> exactly. They're like a... <laughs> a whoops clinic. <laughs> they, they're like uh, Sopranos in, in what? The, like the second episode when he goes to the restaurant with the mistress. They're yeah. like, Tony, hey. And then he comes in with his wife the next day. It's like, Tony, I haven't seen I haven't you seen in a while. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and they're doing that for Steve Martin in a fucking clinic. That works. <laughs> oh, Steve Martin. So never, yeah, every never every been, single been, day he I walks in. Every, me at every all. day is like, oh, Steve Martin, I love your work. I'm such a fan. <laughs> every day, every day, new woman. Steve Martin, I love your work. Such a fan. Oh, yeah, don't. Mm. <laughs> like, big don't, fan, don't big fan. <laughs> Until the same chick goes back again, and then he's fucked. Oh, oh. shit. Yeah, that's true. Stop whoopsing on the same Stop chick. <laughs> yeah, word. How many chicks do you just wrap your shit up, do something? <laughs> Wild and reckless. Nah, you you do it if you if you fucked up the first time, you might as well do it reckless two or three times in that in, in within that, that week. Is there a period of time, and then, <laughs> and then you take them to that. <laughs> it's like residual effect; it carries over. So it's. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are jokes. These are jokes, people. Okay, <laughs> we're just we're just joking around. I don't know of any clinics, and I've obviously never attended it. I've never, never been, been to these places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite because, obvious you're not I, in that uh, camp. Word. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> anyway, let's move, let's move the fuck on. Jeez. It's not about me. God <laughs> damn it. Um, <laughs> yo, damn it. so, all right. Uh, I do have a question. Uh, because of this, this wild-ass fucking comment that, uh, Chet Hanks made. Did you oh, hear about the white boy Chet summer? Hanks. Yeah. Chet Hanks. <laughs> Isn't he the, uh, he's the shitty he's Tom Hanks, the son. reggae, yeah, the, the son reggae of the yeah. ass Jamaican so, son of yeah. Tom Hanks. He's, he's under fire right now because he, 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 he made a comment on social claiming that he feels this is gonna, that he feels that a white boy summer is coming. <laughs> like, boy summer. I like the sound of this guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It's like right what? Up my alley. Like yeah, but to you, what summer is not a white boy summer? It's just summer. I just call that summer. That's just <laughs> yeah, summer. That's just right. Exactly. It's just summer. What the fuck I've does that even mean? He, was, uh... he didn't. He didn't like specify. You don't no. have anything else to go off. That's not even a question. Well, you just a... said Tom Banks. His son said this. Yeah, the, so. and, and well, I'm just saying that the that that social like obviously social media is going crazy, and he's under. He's under fire because of this shit. He's under because fire he's, for something. Else. Was it heroin he, use? What else did he do? Reason. Dude? That is the only this reason anybody wild. even know who the fuck Chet Hanks is. Is like he does these wild antics on <laughs> social media, and he's Tom Hanks' son. So yeah. it's not the other Hanks. Oh, uh, uh, Colin, Colin Hanks. What do you think Colin thinks when right. he sees Colin, all this wild shit? He's just like, hmm. he's Colin is phone, is like, uh, nope. is trailblazing. You know, Texas is dad. Right, he's right. like Listen, doing dad. what he's doing in Hollywood and shit. He's like he looks like his dad. He looks oh respectable, God, yeah. you know. And then we too, have dude. fucking he Chet Hanks, act. who's a reggae. He's the black sheep, obviously. Oh uh, well, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a reggae star. He's in forma, Kali buds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? I seen some shit where he was on. I think I don't know if it was on his story or some shit. I think I caught it on Twitter, but it was uh, basically his his rules. For white boy summer. Oh, there <laughs> were rules. Like, okay, there were rules, Please and he tell was telling the like rules. the white boys what you need to start doing, and he was basically trashing all the white. Like, get rid of everything salmon colored in your closet. Throw that shit out. It's over for that. Okay. No sperry boat shoes. Like, oh, put man. some regular oh, sneakers bro. on. Bro, bro, you gonna have like, to, you're gonna have to go shopping then. Man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> boat shoes. Yeah, no. It was like yeah, everything he said in that tweet or that story or whatever. Because again, I seen somebody else tweet it out, and I agree with the person that tweeted it, which was like, actually, kind of checks out for white boys. <laughs> like, this yeah. is all shit oh, you okay. should stop doing. Okay, so this is a legit. Can we need to get this list? Can you? Is there a way we can pull this list up? I'm not allowed to look over there, else I would fucking lean no, over you're and fine. type it in. There. Let me see, Chet Hanks. White, White boy, boy summer, summer list rules. White boy summer rules. <laughs> we need to get oh these God. printed on a shirt. That'll be our first piece of merch. <laughs> You're just the, that would I be you. See, I see white boy summer rules. 
Tom Hanks' son Chet is updating the white boy summer rules and regulation. You want to... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. <laughs> uh, scared let's me see. there. I was like, what's... I'm gonna I'm gonna play this for oh, okay. you. Okay. Oh, we got a little video clip here. He's gonna plug in. Okay. Okay. You got it plugged in, or is this? No, thing? no. I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm bringing it up on the phone because it would be much easier to do that. There we go. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'm not. Gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even look like Tom Hanks. That's gotta be shitty. Like your Tom Hanks son and Colin right. Hanks gets all the fucking Hanks. I know. He, he gets all the hands. <laughs> chat. And his name's Chat. What's Chat short for? They can't have been named Chat. It's Chatty. Chat. Chatty? <laughs> it's short for it Chatty. All right. Chatmond. Let's Chester. see if this plays all the, <laughs> right, right away. Hold Chester? on. <laughs> I don't think that's any better. No. Oh, no. wow, wow, wow. Woke up this morning, internet gone mad again. Sheesh. Um, but I just want to drop a few uh, rules and regs. For, I thought he was really going to talk like, like that. Okay, rule number Hold one. Uh, to all my white boys out there, no plaid shirts, okay? I can't be looking like a picnic table out here, boys. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Leave that shits at home. The uh, vineyard vines and, you know, Ralph Lauren or whatever the fuck. Leave that shit at home. Uh, just put on a black tee, a white tee. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Keep it okay. simple. Uh, rule number two, no Sperry topsiders. That's not the kind of white boys <laughs> we're talking about, dog. Okay? Uh, get yourself some Vans. Some some Vans, some Chucks. Some Jordans. I'm not really a sneakerhead, but, you know, feel it out. Uh, and uh, there will be more wow. rules coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No calling girls smoke shows. Oh, okay? man. Okay? That, that term is... Uh, it's played out, dude. And you can't just see a hot chick and be like, dude, you see that fucking dude? It's fucking smoke show, dude. Fucking smoke, dude. Okay? That's over with. Oh, yeah. And anything salmon colored? Wardrobe? Burn it. Burn that shit. Don't ever wear that again. I fuck with salmon. Okay? Bottom line here, gentlemen, is it's time for us to evolve. Okay? Period. It's time for us to, you know, grow from a Pikachu to a Raichu. You did. You know what I mean? Church. Okay, okay, so we got some uh, new rules and regulations for the white boy summer. Someone put forth the proposition that we ban all backwards hats. <laughs> I whoa, that sh- whoa. Real quick. Backwards hats are... Slow down, down, guys. That's the first one Good. I have a real problem but, um, with. <laughs> what is very, very iffy and what I'm getting very close to banning is all dad hats. But there are exceptions. If the individual has a clean fade, then he may rock a dad hat, preferably backwards, because as soon as you oh. rock a dad hat forwards, you're really starting to border on not white boy summer. So I uh, <laughs> just wanted to update you guys, um, you know, note oh, that. Shit. And, uh, you know, if you want to rock a dad hat, just do the work and find a good barber, okay? Also, Damn. this is really, really important, guys. As we get closer to summer and, you know, it gets hotter out and there's pool parties and barbecues, white boys, it is not white boy summer to get all drunk and sweaty and, you know, sunburned and in your face, booze breath and going up to people that you barely fucking know all in their personal space. OK, it doesn't matter if it's a dude that you think is now your best friend or a girl that you're trying to hit on. It's not white boy summer to be going up to people with our booze breath, <laughs> all breathing, breathing on them and shit and people like like they're our closest friends and family when we've only known them for five minutes. We right. got What did so- Tom Hanks do to deserve that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? I don't I feel so bad for this guy, dude. <laughs> He doesn't, he's such a nice guy, and, like, that's what he gets, dude. Like, Oh, man. It's, it's unfortunate, dude. That's part of the reason I don't have kids. I feel like, what if they end up, like, a dipshit like that fucking dude? Bro, <laughs> I, I can promise you that uh, I have kids, and I have a son, and I will, I, I vow to make sure that my son is not, is not Chet Hanks. Thank however, you. <laughs> however. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. I kind of like the guy. 
<laughs> you know what? It's like it's like we make it big, we make it big, and I see Chet Hanks fucking around. <laughs> like, why? Well, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna be like, yo, Chet Hanks, Chet Hanks, I fuck with you, man. <laughs> like your best roster voice, yeah. <laughs> start start saying a bunch of shit. And he's just gonna, yeah, you got to do the roster voice in. if you talk to Chet. Yep. Yeah, Bomba Claw Chet Hanks. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> oh man, I, I I fuck with Chet Hanks way more than I fuck with uh, what's his name, uh, Jake Logan. Or oh whatever. yeah, Logan Paul. Oh fuck that kid, Jake Paul. Logan Paul. Jake Paul. Which one? Jake Paul. I, Jake I, know, Paul. Jake I don't Paul. know which Jake is Paul. which, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I can call They're him both. Jake Logan. They're both like whatever. Jake Logan no. Paul. Jake Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah, JLB. Logan Paul. I'm not annoyed by Jake Paul annoys yeah. the fuck out of me. So I, yeah, Logan is definitely more tolerable of yeah. the two. And I, and I know, I, I know, I know what is, what is shtick is right. It's like, sure. Logan Paul made it big off of, you know, off of, uh, the internet, whatever influencer. We've mentioned this before. He has his podcast. That shit is huge. You know, whatever. He just seems Whatever. more down to earth. He did the fighting thing first, and his brother is just Logan Paul's brother. So <laughs> he has to do all of this crazy wild shit in order to get himself like really out there. And I'm not I'm, I'm not hating on him completely because he is making he's making fucking dough. He's making sure. millions of dollars mm-hmm. doing this dumbass shit that he's doing, but he's fucking annoying. He's just annoying. Absolutely. I, I can't disagree with anything you've said <laughs> thus far so so uh, you know it uh uh you know just just to summarize this i fuck with chet hanks before i, oh, I, I, I would, I would fuck agree with, with that yeah Jake for sure Paul. for sure <laughs> at least i fuck with them vibes yo yeah you gotta Word. you gotta fucking throw your fairies out bro I got, and your moccas, I got Sperry moccasins, dude. They're very comfy. <laughs> and your backwards dad hat. <laughs> nah, that'll never go. <laughs> That's what he's wearing today. He's wearing a backwards dad That's hat. That's how I saw but he said, nah, this is he a, actually this is from Apple. This is a corporate. This is an Apple corporate hat. It's a corporate this dad is, hat. It's a it's a, a it's a it's definitely a white boy hat. I never like they gave it that that dad hat name, but it's just a white boy hat, you know, with the with the really bent brim. That mm-hmm. I that no one would have been a real white boy hat would be like a with. straight fucking crease. You ever see like dudes that would like crease their shits the, back in the, the day, dude? Like a fucking piece of paper. The Ugh. truly mm-hmm. white boy hat is a visor. Ugh. <laughs> you, that's too white boy for me, dude. I was born well, a white boy. I got boy. a visor. I was raised a white boy. <laughs> but it's my boat hat. Yeah, that's when I rent hat. a boat. This is the hat that's I rock. You know, that's how you know this motherfucker is. You bougie. wear Sperry's on that boat? I should, but I don't. I <laughs> should. You should get some. You gotta uh, shoes. You definitely gotta uh, beep this name, but uh, but you gotta <laughs> the 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 <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh beep, man, beep. you gotta you gotta definitely do that. Mm. Get a pair of those if you own a boat, but never go on a boat. But never go on a boat. Nope. <laughs> never wear them on the boat, but you own them because you own a boat. They do look nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so are you tell- cl- they're a classy shoe. So are you telling me that you're uh, you're feeling that this is going to be a, a white boy summer coming on? No, nah, I don't fuck with boats. <laughs> <laughs> I said a white boy summer. Nah, white boys fuck with boats. So oh, okay, I yeah. Fuck with boats. I mean, everybody fucks with boats. I'm not getting rid of the hat. If that's what you're asking. It's not happening. That fuck, bro. <laughs> That's the first thing that had to go. All right, man. Let's get into uh, some some more Hollywood shit. Um, so, with the success of the Snyder mm. Cut, David Ayer yes. is now coming out saying like he's he's hopeful that with the success of the Snyder Cut that he can have an Ayer cut of Suicide Squad. And this is his comment. Really? He, he had said, a cut. He fucked it up. He said, "I made a really heartfelt drama." And they tried to turn it into Deadpool. It didn't. Re- it didn't represent what I actually made. I made an amazing movie. It just scared the shit out of executives. Is that what it did? So he let other people cut his shit. So or, or the studio had other people cut his shit, and they changed his fucking movie. Yeah, they they changed. He made the Suicide Squad from to a drama. Why would it be a drama? I. I mean, yeah. we only comic book action movie. Why yeah. the hell would you make it into a drama? I'm okay with that, though. 
That sounds it's more like, like a I, Harley I don't, Quinn movie. Like, like no obviously. action, just drama? No, 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 no. I think what he means is like a, a, an action movie that has drama in it. Like it's a, like it's a, a serious Hulk movie. Story. Like sure. the storyline is, is more serious you, like you in care tone. about it. Gotcha. Whereas, uh, whereas the Suicide Squad that we got was more playful. I think like it tried to be more playful and um and Dave said that he he was just like nah I would like I watch it but I'm not looking forward to that. Quite honestly Suicide Squad was a movie that I really enjoyed the first half of it. And then at hmm. some point it dipped hard, like real fucking hard. Yeah. By the end of the movie I'm like what the fuck am I watching? I started I yeah. literally started off the movie Saying like, yo, this is dope. Like, you know, Will Smith, you know, you have all these characters. This mm-hmm. is wild. And then by the end of it, I'm like, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I would that welcome thing. that. I would welcome if, if they give him, if they give him a second chance to redeem that movie, I, I, I would most definitely tune into it. I just said, I don't, I don't feel as passionate about it as I did the Snyder cut. That's all. Like I said, I would fuck with it. If they release it on HBO max or Netflix or wherever the it's fuck, definitely I would not check it calling out, for, but I'm not fucking retweeting like release the air cut. No, like, it's definitely not causing like, nah. people to do that. Especially cause it's the same director. Like Snyder, yeah. he got, you know, he was, that wasn't his shit, dude. He wanted mm-hmm. to go back and make right, what right. he had started. Like mm-hmm. air dude, you should have fought, fought, fought for yeah. your shit, dude. Like mm-hmm. go to the studio. What the fuck cause some shit. Like, Fight for it, and it's not like I don't know. Maybe fight I'll be for able it to when you're when you're Mike. supposed to fight for it when it matters, right. dude. Not fucking what? However many years later, dude. Like that's why I don't I don't feel for him. I feel you made some some valid points, my friend. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying. About that. To me, I'm just saying. Like I would uh, I would love to see the redemption on that because that that fall was. Real I'm always hard down to see a director's good. cut. No. Yeah, I'm always down for that too. But when they do director's cut, is that generally like change the tone like that, or did they just add extra scenes? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I never thought I mean, it was super drastic. The BBS like, director's cut was a much better film than the theatrical release. Really? Yeah. I can't remember if I if I saw the director's cut of that. I remember the director's it was like a cut DVD of Blu-ray release. Watchmen. Right. Wasn't that different? Like there was some extended with scenes. Watchmen, I felt though, like like it wasn't anything. With Watchmen though, Watchmen played really, really, like really close to the comics. So when they released the director's cut, it was just some scenes that were taken extended, out. Yeah, yeah that more, was just more extended. comic-y. Well, no, like, it wasn't even more comic. It wasn't more comic. It was just like <laughs> certain parts of the comic that were left out. Yeah they added it back in to, you know, and it just made it a longer movie. But, but I, I quite honestly, I just, I remember watching Watchmen and in preparation for that story. (laughs) Exactly. In preparation for that story, I read the comic and it was, and it did not, it did not disappoint. Like other than like sometimes you'd have, yeah, exactly. And uh, the only difference was the, the, the ending, the ending. Yeah. Could, and and they later said that it was because they couldn't afford the effects the for the yeah squid? with the squid for dropping the squid on on oh, uh, New I York City. That. So yeah, the sh- the series was fucking fire. Yeah. I'm I am so for like stop making these books into movies and now make them into into series, series that can tell the entire story. In the amount of time that is needed, even if it's a, mm. even if it's a, a like a mini series, one, two, whatever, tell the fucking story, tell the tell the entire story, to a T, the way it was meant to be set, like the way it was meant to be made, and make it into a series. Stop making these fucking movies if you can't commit to, yeah, to keeping shit. Yeah, true. there's a book that I. "Quote unquote," I read uh, you know, audio <laughs> yeah, the book. Audio book, yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, I don't even remember how I fell into it. I think it was just like I seen it on a recommended list and downloaded it, and uh, and it was really fucking good. And I remember them saying at the time that they had optioned it for a movie and that the movie was going to come out. And this was probably like five, six years ago already, right? And like the other day, I was like, "Damn, what the hell ever happened to that?" story so i looked into it 
Come to find out, Apple TV optioned it and to turn it into a series. And I'm like, mm. oh, much fucking better. I think that's going to totally make that story. Yep. Well, I think it was called Dark Matter, if anyone's wondering. Um, and it was about uh, multiverse shit. Ooh. A guy trying to... with that? Sounds dope. <laughs> basically, like, some himself... He runs into himself, or, like, himself tries to, like, kill him in the first chapter. Um, so, so like you're talking about from Tenet. another universe. <laughs> no. uh, it's similar. Similar. <laughs> similar. Similar type of thing. Yeah, um, very similar to That Tenet. sounds dope. But Tenet, Tenet's just in the same... Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no, I know. I'm just fucking around. I'm just <laughs> fucking around. Uh, no, that, that, that sounds that. dope. Like, I'd be down for some shit. Like, I, I love things like that. Like, a completely different concept. And it's I'm a fucking broken record when it comes to it. But um, have you ever... Did you finish the uh, Ready Player 2? I, bro, I tried to start it. And it's... I. In the space that I like, where I listen to podcasts right now is when I'm walking the dog, and like I can't listen to a book while I'm walking the much. dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm just walking around the city. I'm trying not, not to get like stabbed. nervous or anything, but <laughs> He's you're on the lookout stabbed. though. I'm you just, can't you know, just go I'm, oblivious walking around the city, dude. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm ob- ob- observant, mm-hmm. and yeah. so my mind is more on everything that I see versus. Um, you know, what the hell is being spoken in my ears? Right. And I felt like I, I started you it, it back and don't even, don't and even I know anything. kept on rewinding it. Yeah. I kept on rewinding the 15 seconds. Like, wait, what did he just say? I was totally distracted. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I feel you on just, that. Um, uh, when I get out of the city soon, then I'll, uh, I'll probably be able to listen to it like in car drives and shit like that. And you're mowing yeah. your lawn. Nah, I don't have a lawn. <laughs> like, I don't have a lawn. He's still he's still close enough to the city where that's not a thing. No lawns. <laughs> it's like I don't have a fucking lawn. Um Fuck no, but lawn. I, but but that's a that's another one where I I I I keep saying it, but if they and if if they make that into a series, that would be such a great be great dope. actual series like picked up by somebody big. Because in mm-hmm. order to get all of those rights to do what's actually in the books, and, I, and I've thought of that. I've, I, I 100% have thought of that and, like, have justified why they didn't go the book, like, the complete book route. However, yeah. if you can get, like, the, the biggest company, like, let's say Apple uh, or even HBO and, you know, license that as a series, yeah. yo, I would, I, I, I would love that so fucking much for them to actually make those scenes for real. And it and if you get into certain things that's in the in the second in in Ready Player 2, there's a a really really big figure that I I I really don't know if they can like take his his likeness and do all it's of that the, that they the want Prophet to do. Muhammad. Huh? Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Show his that's likeness. exactly. <laughs> that's that's exactly who I'm talking about. Um, in, <laughs> uh, so, so in other news, we were talking about Mortal Kombat earlier. Yes, we were delayed. What uh, are not, you? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. It's not as bad as you think, but it was delayed slightly from April 16th to April 23rd. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, he's like, about to fucking, oh, yo, October 2022. Right. Thought, you never fucking know, dude. I felt, I felt like he was about to spaz on me. It was yo, really going to be a white boy summer in this 400 bitch. pound table. <laughs> <laughs> he's, it was like really they're good. already, like it's already on HBO Max. Like why do they need to delay <laughs> right. it further? <laughs> oh man, he was about to have a white boy summer in this bitch and start shooting up the place. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, I I'm definitely looking forward to that and um and tomorrow we get we get uh Kong versus Godzilla, Kong right? Versus Godzilla. That's right. Kong yeah. versus Godzilla this week. Is Brian Cranston in that? I don't think so, no. no I don't think so. I, think, I think, so. think he was only in the first one. Ooh. Uh and but Eleven I'm, is in it. I'm right. really Hell. looking forward to I think she might be the it. only continuous character between any of them. Yeah, cause um, cause she was in uh, the latest Godzilla, right? Yeah. Yep. That's right. She was in the latest I don't know Godzilla. If we didn't. From Skull Island is in this. I, uh, I, I haven't crossover. heard of anyone. No. 
Because it's so far Tom that, that it's just sad. Eh. Like everybody, did everybody die in that movie? Like everybody got murdered. Not if not if they captured not God's though. not if they captured Kong and brought him to the <laughs> fucking know, man. <laughs> Sam Jackson did Sam Jackson get murdered? He, he definitely got murdered. <laughs> yeah. That was early. That was early. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wasn't he talking about uh, he ain't afraid of no motherfucking sharks when that shit happened? Yeah, when the shark got yeah. him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it was the exact there, same yeah. type of kill move. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I did watch that recently. I I I. I in preparation for this movie, but uh, by the time this airs, though, it would already what be. Was that the Meg? No, no, no. That, that was uh, that was Deep Blue, Blue Sea. About Skull Island. You watched Skull Island. Recently. I watched Skull Island. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. I yep. watch Deep Blue Sea every so often, though. Deep I Blue loved, Sea. I yeah, Deep that was a, that Hello, was a pretty Hello, good. Cool J, yeah. when he's down in the fucking. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. Dude. Hello, Cool. <laughs> Hello, Jane? Cool J. You notice Thomas that Jane? he never fucking dies in any movie. He no. was in a Halloween movie. Didn't die. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Halloween H2O. He did not die. Oh, shit. <laughs> everybody, like, damn near everybody died except for uh, uh, um, except for him and uh, what's her name? Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> that shit is, that is fucking hilarious. He never dies in any movie. Uh, but I fucks Where's with Hello Cool J. I have no idea. Licking his lips that somewhere in New York. NCIS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. He was yeah. in NCIS, right? Los Angeles, was it? Was it one of those? One of those cop yeah. shows. NCIS LA or something like that. What the fuck does NCIS stand for? Narco- crime. Naval Crime Investigation Service. Naval Crime Investigation Service? Yeah, it's like a, I thought it was like, like narcotics. The, like, Are you thinking of no, JAG? No, it's because they was all, it was, yeah, like they worked under JAG or something like that. It was all military dudes that committed crimes. Interesting. Did you watch that show, Jag? Like bits and pieces. Like, <laughs> yeah, same. I, was never into same. It. I never, I never, like, never a full episode. I just remember bits and pieces as a kid, dude. Be like, fuck yeah. Jag, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that shit is. Jag is uh, Justice Advocate General. <laughs> Fucking so Jag is on the silly. other side. I think that's the. He's the defender. He's oh, basically okay. like yeah. a public defender nice. for. Um, for military um, criminals. Johnny, you are filled with random useful, fucking knowledge. Use, useful <laughs> and useless information. You were just filled with everything. Here, that was just very useful. It. But anywhere it's, else, it wouldn't matter. We'd be like, why do you know that? It's much better yeah. than, than just me with a ton of useless information, which now <laughs> we turn... We turn into a podcast. We turn into <laughs> useful information. Yeah, we're switching everything. Everything that I once thought was stupid about the things that I that I keep <laughs> in my brain uh, is no now becoming very stupid. Useful. Yeah, and then it's sometimes no I can't even access that. Do you remember? Sense- we call that content now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm a content creator. It's content cre- senseless information for your everyday life. We were we were meant for this, guys, because nobody. That's right. Nobody takes this stuff in, and if they do, they prob- probably have a podcast. I listen to some podcasts, dude. Mm, um, it's been a while. That uh, well, I listen to some podcasts, like like even our our, our fellow uh, DFAT Entertainment uh, podcast. DFAT, po- yeah. Um, <laughs> our fellow DFAT <laughs> uh, podcasters, and I listen to their content, and I'm like. Fuck, we don't know anything. Oh, I, thought about, I thought you were about to, I thought you were gonna hate on their content. No, 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 like, no, no. Damn, dog, saying, we just like, got on this platform. You can't go no, off. Like no, that. no, no. They're 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 <laughs> like, I don't know shit on this platform. Oh. They're super knowledgeable about whether it's comics or whether we, it's we have like, a broad knowledge about very few <laughs> things. Like, we don't, we don't focus. <laughs> just this <laughs> right. deep. <laughs> but it's a broad spectrum. Hey, man, we can't, we yeah. can't hit them with we got our... like a giant puddle mm-hmm. of knowledge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. It's long, but it's so thin, dude. It's, so, it's, like a, it's a pancake <laughs> of knowledge, and they have like stacks of waffles on a specific topic. Oh. They're, they're just... Oh. They're just uh, Fuck fucking that. all these ears with their BBCs of knowledge, yep. and we are just making our way through, <laughs> you know, sliding mm-hmm. through, and bobbing and weaving uh, off bobbing of our good weaving. looks, <laughs> off of our good looks, just and charm. Yep, yep. good yep. looks and charm. That's how that's how we get that's by, right? Takes. They have that BBC of knowledge. We have good looks and charm. <laughs> I like that. We want that BBC <laughs> and the little yellow monster. <laughs> yeah, and the little yellow monster. We'll let you figure out what that is. 
Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> is that a Hispanic thing? Why don't I understand this? Oh, you will one day. <laughs> I really have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Our logo, you dumbass. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's way over my head. That was bad. Yeah, it's okay. Can we cut that out, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> we got to leave that in there. Just let it linger. No, that's, that's what we call content. content. <laughs> that is what we call content. Now, that's um, what I call content. Volume sure. 37. Volume 37. <laughs> Actually, that's what we call content volume 59, right? 59. That's, that's episode where title. At. Where are we at? What's the time? <laughs> now that's what we Johnny. call content. We're going to clap <laughs> so you know when to go back and find it. <laughs> right? That's how you're going to find it. Oh, God. All right. We're not going to clap every single time that we wanna. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> However, uh, we're not going to do it every single time. Just for the really good stuff. <laughs> we're just going to be talking randomly, and I'm just you're just going to hear it. A spike. In the, yeah, in the I'm gonna background. Get a, I'm going to get a ding. I'm going to get a, <clears throat> there just you go. a bing. bing word. Um, all right. So so in, in other news, uh, Captain Marvel 2 starts filming in May. Mm. We should have a rule on this show where we never talk about stuff that hasn't started filming yet. Because Correct. Because I feel like that takes so fucking long. It, it reportedly me. starts filming in May. Ooh. How do you? So I, mean, I guess that's close enough where it's worth a mention. But people, like, people really like there. There are some people who really have strong feelings about Captain Marvel. How do you feel about the Captain Marvel movie? I don't have strong <laughs> feelings about it. One way or the other. I mean, it's I, good. I like I it. Mean, I'm not there, like, there are, oh, I don't fuck it. There are groups who who obviously like really fucking love it because you know it's a. It's a powerful female um, character. They love Brie Larson f- because oh, yeah, she's no, like a uh, great. She's you know, sexy. she's yeah. Uh, uh, I agree. I agree. But she then, but ass. then on the other end is just like, oh, Brie Larson is an asshole, and like, and they just didn't enjoy the really? movies. Uh, like I've it, heard. I've heard it got both. shoehorned in. I feel like to the end of Phase Three, it really did. Uh, that that and I that can was agree. My with. only problem with it was it felt forced. Like, hey, you need to watch this now because she's gonna be in the the last, you know, couple movies here. Last movie. I don't know if it came out between. I or think when it, it was, felt but... shoehorned in because people thought that she was gonna be the savior for the uh, End Game, right? And she ended mm-hmm. up not being the savior in End Game. Or she was. Infinity she War. was. Uh, she was at like, least. Uh, she was helpful. Sure. But she was just another member of the team. And I think people were like, they're trying to force her in here at the last minute to be like a MacGuffin and fucking save everything. And then the story actually came out and she ended up not really, uh, she she got her ass whooped because he used the reality stone on her, I think it was. Right. And, uh, but, but she, the, the, the biggest reasons why she was a major um she was a major asset in Endgame is obviously one uh she's the one who saved Iron Man mm-hmm. uh she, as he was nowhere, floating right? yeah out Just of nowhere fucking, she showed up whoa. saved him so that who, was a big moment in turn kind of saved yeah, yeah who in like, turn was the actual savior of of you yeah. know I mean uh, she was an story. intricate part of the story she, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. She, she but I'm just saying but she I'm just wasn't like the, the she yeah, wasn't, exactly. Yeah, right. And I think that's what people thought they were trying to do by, because she is a extremely powerful. I think it's like her and fucking Scarlet Witch. She's or like the, really anyone that's powered by the stones. Is she's almost like the Superman the of, yeah. like the Superman of this universe where she's, sure. you have to dumb down her powers a little bit or else yeah. she's just the one. Mm-hmm. Unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but also, I think I have an understanding that with a lot of these movies, like that first introductory movie to these characters, mm-hmm. I don't place a whole lot of feeling on those movies. Like, like Ant-Man, um, even the first Captain America to me was like, it was cool, but uh, I was like, mm. 
You know what I mean? It wasn't a movie that I just you're more invested in the whole story arc. Yeah, yeah. I'm more invested in the so whole story arc. So those introductory ones don't really impact that long game. Correct. So I enjoy them for what they are, but at the same time, I don't go into it thinking, oh, this is going to be the most amazing movie that I'm like, because it's Marvel. This is the mm. most amazing movie that I know that's going to be, it's going to top it this year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't go into, say, even, even with the, the Spider-Man movies. Mm-hmm. Like so Spider Man, they Spider-Man all have movies. they all have the same feeling. They all have the same feeling. They all have that same. And and if you notice, it's like sort of whimsy. Yeah, and and they yeah. all you know, have. You know their, it's going to be okay in Spider Man. They all have their own tone. Yeah. They all have their own feeling. And I won't watch those. Yeah, but but For but real? like. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but I, I I know that like 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 um. People also had strong feelings about how how Endgame ended, and then we got a, a the Spider Man movie, and it was obviously a whole different tone, whole different. And and people were just like, "Why would you end it like on that?" When really yeah. it ended on Endgame, and that was the feeling. But Endgame brought in the Avengers feeling, the Captain America feeling, like all of those films had a, a very specific feeling and tone. And those were the ones where it was just like, all right, like we're in for some shit. These are yeah. the ones that I'm like really looking forward to. All the other ones, fill it. Ant Man, Ant Man um, was th- those movies were just filler movies that were entertaining. They're they're entertaining. Entertaining. They're just but another story in the Marvel universe. And the, you know what? And they're never and they're never shitty to the point where I'm just like that was complete fucking garbage. The only one that I felt like that was. And I wouldn't even go that far, but but the 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 worst one that I thought of, probably Thor two. And then when I went through all of the movies again, I actually enjoyed it the second time around. Maybe because I tied it into Endgame, and I really sure. like completely forgot because I only saw it the one time. Mm-hmm. Right. So when I went back to it, it made more sense what was going on in Endgame. So I enjoyed. Yeah what I was actually watching this time around. And of movies course are better when you feel smarter when you're watching them. Yeah, sure. that's true. That's true. Um, but, but you know, and of course still, I feel like that series was still saved by Ragnarok. Mm, obviously, yeah. obviously. Um, yeah, but, but I didn't hate it this time around. Iron Man three. Everybody says that, Oh, that's the worst Iron Man movie. Yeah, but it's still, it's still Iron Man. It was still pretty. It was still, still a, 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 a pretty good, <laughs> good, uh, good. Yeah, anything. Uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. We don't know how, how good or bad Shang Chi is going to be. I don't know. I'm not too excited about we, it. We uh, were we excited it's for you Wandavision. Don't know Shang Chi. I, I know. Right. We weren't that, excited that for Wandavision. I don't know. I don't know, my, about, my I don't know shit about Shang Chi. That's why Shang-Chi I'm not. Shang Chi and the Seven Rings or whatever. I don't know I don't shit know about the Eternals. About I don't know shit about Shang Chi. I didn't know, I don't know shit about Doctor Strange any either. Of those. Doctor Strange was fire. Right. So that's that. Exactly. Yeah, nah. So you, I'm Dave. not. I'm not making these these comments <laughs> about these these shows that didn't come out yet. Yeah. Wandavision. We we were not looking forward to Wandavision. That's true. Until Steve yeah. told us what was up. He like, told oh, us shit, how, how you know, how that story goes and, and what those events were. I wasn't excited. Then we got excited the and then we too. saw it and it was, and it was a good ride. It was a good fucking ride. I was excited for Loki. That was, that was it. Everybody's excited for Loki. And Once I, I and, saw the trailer. And you know so what? Everybody, stoked. the most uh, out of all of these, everybody has been excited for Loki. And I was excited for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And we'll talk about that later, but I haven't been disappointed. I haven't been disappointed. We can talk about it. Disappointed, you know. um, We can talk about how we feel about it, but not um, by Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, yeah, yeah. Disney TV universe. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the beginning of that, and obviously they're going to iron it out. Yeah, but it's not. It's all part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's what makes it dope. Mm -hmm. It's not like with fucking Agents of Shield. That (laughs) was a TV universe. That was part of completely separated. But that still was part of the like they still would. It was supposed to be, shit, but then though, right? after I think season two, they were like, "All right, nothing else, nothing counts. else, <laughs> they're done." Because they fucking Agent shot. Coulson was still alive in the right. motherfucking show. Yeah, yeah, and also, um, but but even we when we look at the other extended shows that were on Netflix, Daredevil, Punisher, right? Obviously, we could talk about Luke Cage. We could talk about you know all the other ones that made the Defenders. Mm-hmm. But those shows were, eh, the, I probably watched all of Daredevil, all of Punisher, and all of uh, 
Jessica Jones. And I even made it through like half of the second season of, of Luke Cage. And then I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I saw the first season of Iron Fist and then the second season, I, I think I. They gave Iron Fist two seasons? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Damn, dude. really? Yeah. Iron Fist had two seasons. <laughs> because <laughs> after, after they came out with the Defenders, we got one more season of Daredevil, one more of each one. And, and I think Holy it was crap. like midway through Iron Fist 2, I was already finding it hard to get through that second season and giving a shit about Iron Fist. And then they announced that, that all of these shows were being canceled. And I'm just like, so then why the fuck am I watching this? What if, what if yeah, Iron yeah. Fist came in like Endgame and saved the day? And we're like, Whoa, you know what? And I wouldn't, that guy. quite honestly, I wouldn't hate it. Like it was just the shows uh, were, it just wasn't it, like I wasn't into it. But there are people who fucking love those shows. I've never met anyone that loved Iron Fist. Uh, they they <laughs> exist, though. Never, if you love it Iron might, Fist and you're listening to this right now, please reach out to me and talk to me about it. It might be the same people that love CW shows, but, but they, they have an audience. Oh, if that's the case, oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, then, you, then we can't even have this conversation. If you saw Wentworth Miller in a DC show, please don't message me. <laughs> uh, but but to, just to circle back, I actually am... Looking forward to uh, Captain Marvel 2. I'm looking forward to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, oh, watched that a, shit. I watched the shit yeah. out of that shit. Also, also More than it, the it, air it, cut. They, they Did y'all ever see there. United States of Terror? Yes. Nah. Yes. That, that shit fucking was a love fucking that dope show. ass show. And now she was Hell the daughter yeah. on there. That's where I yeah, remember Brie Larson that's from. That's where I first <laughs> caught Brie Larson. Yep. That was... Uh, that was so United States of show. Terror was uh, a mother. She was a mother of two, right? She had two kids, two yeah. teenagers. And she had split personalities. Mm. So, so she, <laughs> so she had like and they four like put or five up of it. them. Yeah. And they have to put up with it. And every time they know the names, like I remember the one dude, his name is it's Buck. Tony Collette to is the mother. Yeah. Tony Collette. She's a, she's a great actress too. Yeah. But she would come in and he was like, my name's John Buck Corbett and I love the, the father. Fuck. That's from Kill Bill. Did they steal that blatantly? Possibly. Damn. He, he he was a, she was a dude like he would yeah like completely act like a fucking dude fucking and they would dude. sit there and the, what was this on the, the Show. kids Showtime Showtime, Showtime. Okay. the kids would sit there and be like it's weird how they're all like right handed but Buck is left handed you know <laughs> does everything like <laughs> like he loved bowling and he would just perfectly do everything with his left <laughs> hand he was left handed it was it was such a good show and then they ended that it like after season two fucking show. It was like yeah, season three. Was, was there any closure, or was it just like this is done? That's what. That's what. That's why I was really upset about it. Mm. It was. It was a really good show, and it ended on a thing Correctly. where, like, we're we're heading into the next season, and then yeah, uh, and that's where we just left it off. So I, I'm no hoping resolution. they'll make like a movie about that. Just I would one love day. to see like some Would'd closure on that Deadwood style. Uh, but also, I, I guess uh, it, it was thrown in there, too, that uh, Ant-Man 3 is filming in May. And this was my point with, with all of that anyway, okay. is that now, that now that the main story arcs are completely, like, are completed with, um, with this last... The Infinity Saga? Yep, with the Infinity Saga, now all of the background characters that were just, like, you know, like, uh, that, that their movies were just, like, whatever, fillers. They mm-hmm. are now coming to the forefront, and they said they've already mentioned how Ant Man Three is going to be a much bigger, more impactful movie um, in okay. this franchise. So I'm assuming the same thing for for uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel, and I really I look forward. We'll get us some Monica Rambeau and Captain Marvel. I'm sure. I'm sure that 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 will, and and I love that too. In in Wandavision, that they kind of played on the fact that she is not happy with. Like right. they have like a little beef going on and stuff. So yeah. she's going to go into it with, with some powers and, and some shit. So we're definitely like, I, I'm looking forward to, to what's to come with that. And we'll get to see her in more recent times uh, in her own movie. Mm-hmm. And, um, but, uh, but I, I want to see that, especially because these are the characters now that are familiar and we're being introduced to a lot of secondary characters that are now going to be the same thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Where where is going to be a lot of those filler movies so that we can get to we can get used to these people we know who they are we know whatever and then it's going to be right 
and then it's going to be the Captain America, uh, the Captain Marvels, the the Ant Man, like all of these other side characters. We're going to cling to the ones yeah. that we that we already know. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, and that's why that's why I like uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier because I'm finding myself liking those characters more. Yeah, definitely. You know. Um, because quite honestly, Sam, I, I wasn't a fan of in the past. I still, I'm just like, he's I still just like, whatever. Like, like, I still am like, whatever, dude, a bunch of episodes into Falcon and yeah, Winter Soldier. Too. And I, I'm not, not the biggest Sam fan. That's no, sure. I'm not either. But at least I'm like, I'm, I'm picking up on his story a little bit and it's, it's just still, I still think of him as Papa connecting. Doc from 8 Mile. <laughs> yeah, That's that why might I, be I fucking that might be it. Papa <laughs> Doc, dude, just a smug ass look, Papa. dude. Papa yeah. Doc doesn't bother me so much. It <laughs> was um, it, it's it, it was him as Tupac that bothered me because he looks nothing like yeah, fucking no, Tupac. Not at all, dude. <laughs> there was a dude that was a good Tupac recently, wasn't there? I thought no, there was... dude. I never saw that I'm movie. All, he looked like him. He did look like. Yeah, he looked all like him. Me. That Tupac looked good. I don't know how the yeah, movie was, but that dude it, looked like Tupac. Yeah, I didn't see that movie. I did not see that movie. I I, I heard like that it wasn't it wasn't great. And I remember that somebody said that they were popping Ciroc bottles in the, yeah, in the movie. Right, and I'm just like, right. eh, all right, well, you know. <laughs> Tupac <laughs> movie, obviously Diddy was just like, hey. Let's get some Ciroc put, in put there. Some, put some Ciroc in this, in this like. <laughs> Diddy always thinking. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, we're, not, we're not doing that. Wow. Uh, so I, I had no interest in that. Uh, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll give it a try. Uh, in other news, Russell Crowe has joined the cast of Thor Love and Thunder. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. His, his character is uh, yet to be determined. However, we know that he has joined the cast. And we know that that is a Taika movie. Jor-El so. is now in mm. yeah. the Ma- MCU. Maximus, Maximus Decimus Meridius. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Yep. So at this point, his, his role has not been mentions. revealed, but he is confirmed to be in Thor. Finish Love it. Interesting. That's gonna be dope. That, that that's yeah, that's, a, that's I can't exciting. Wait for that fucking movie. Yeah, they were, they've been filming for a while, right? Yeah. Yep. Because they they've shown a few people. Who was it else? Who who else was it? That was a random person that showed up. Oh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. Christian Bale's yeah. in the cast. Uh, he's casted there, and and they're again, filming in Australia, right? Yep. Australia. Uh, it was probably easier. Like, hey, Russell right. Crowe, want to just slide through? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just on you. set, seeing what was up. And they're like, hey, you want to do? And something? Tyke is from fucking New Zealand, right? Yeah, that's true. I'm looking forward to that, like, for sure. What when is that? Do, do we know when that comes out? Love and Thunder. I think, it was, I think it's was 23. Oh it like, yeah, I feel like it was. I just looked at one of those charts on Instagram, and it made me sick to my stomach, dude. Really? Yeah. Why? Just all the dope <laughs> shit that was coming out in like 2022 and 2023. Like, they're making us wait. Yeah, I we yeah I did see that. There's a there's a shit ton of movies that aren't coming out until twenty two February eleventh twenty two. That's not that's not terrible. That's, that's less not terrible. Than, no. That's less than what Doctor Strange. There's a bunch of shit that was coming out like March of Doctor 22. Strange is March twenty two. Mm-hmm. Damn, really? Yeah, exactly. That I'm I'm really looking forward to that Doctor Strange man. I think that's gonna be fire. Damn, but we're gonna we're gonna get Thor. And then Doctor Strange the next month, that's going to be fire. That'll be a fire month. I'm looking forward to that. We, we went fire so long. Days. We went so long without Marvel content that now it feels like mm-hmm. we're being bombarded with nothing but Marvel content. I wish well, Loki and Winter Nothing but Disney Soldier. content. That's true. I wish Loki and Winter Soldier were go- running concurrently. Like I could, like Fridays were both of them. Mm. Do one see, of but doing the weekly but, thing. I know, teasing I know, you yeah. every week. But you see, but like, wasn't you it say Steve that, that said that there's like a Disney thing being released every week from now until like the end of the year? It's pretty mm-hmm. close, dude. Yeah. Between I like, all the, I like the way that they're doing it because I'm invested in one show, and then once that's done, we probably have like a, a week two, or two, two, maybe three weeks at the yeah. most, and then we I don't get even another think it's one. That long? I don't think it's. That long. I think it's one week. And you get like a behind the scenes, and then the week after that is the next show starts. Did you guys watch the behind the scenes on WandaVision? Mm, no. I didn't. I didn't watch. I it. saw about three quarters of it. Yeah, and then I had to jump to like some work shit. But was it was I it interesting? 
It was. It was pretty good. Interesting. I love behind the scenes shit, so I don't even know why I asked that. I should just really sit down and watch that whole shit. Yeah, it was definitely good. The man was actually shit was one of the things was about the 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 girl that plays Monica Rambeau mm. was talking about how how she didn't know who was she was uh who she was trying playing. out for and what what the whole thing was and then they you know that whole thing how they like don't give you to you and then they call you back and all that oh, back like, and like forth the commercial shit. dude the dude that was talking about reading the the voice yeah similar to that exactly yeah. very very it's similar very to secrecy. to that very secret and then at the very end it's like okay so i got the part who am i playing yeah, <laughs> yeah. you have to kind of just take that shit so it's like way. yo man i'm 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 in a marvel move yeah. i'm in a marvel show it doesn't matter who i am it doesn't matter who marvel. i am like yeah. i'm in marvel like i'm gonna be yeah. seen and i mean it's awesome when it's a major character hopefully she sure, she, she knew that yeah. If hopefully she knew that at no, least. No, she didn't even know if it was like a major what level of right? the character it was. And they just gave her some lines and the lines made no sense. I think she explained at which point in the show it was, but it was pretty deep in the show. Damn. Like There's no context. Five episodes so in or whatever. So she, yeah, she has like no real context. Well, most of that was like lines. Seri- like a series, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like the the or not the series, but like um what's that called like 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 uh old school fucking tv shows you know like a lot of that fact that's what it was it was the 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 scene where she's uh it's the 70s brady bunch and wanda gives birth in Mm -hmm. front of her yeah and she so she's like all extra sassy and oh you know kind of jackie brownish or whatever yeah so she came through and they were like telling her to do that and then like she, but she didn't really have like this is a Marvel show, and yeah. you want me to be like, yeah, sassy and then, black and lady. Then they go like back. she didn't get it, and, right? Yeah, and then they go back and go, all right, so this is who your character is. This is what it is. <laughs> and now we need you to film this scene, right? <laughs> you know, and it's like that's oh. why she killed that scene because she had already done it a bunch of times. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, that's uh, oh, all right. Well, uh, I'll probably have to catch that then. Um, I want to watch that. That's yeah, pretty good. And the best thing Assembled. that we got from it is, uh, is are the, were the memes for Vision with ears. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Vision with ears memes. They were pretty. Good. They weren't uh, the 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 uh, Vishon, Vishon memes. But Vishon memes were the best. Yeah, those uh, are the best. Uh, but the but the Vision, vision with ears. <laughs> yeah, and the baby Vision. Uh, all right. So in more in more Vishon. news. Uh, the. The production of Obi Wan Kenobi starts soon as well. Hell of a cast. Hell of a cast. So we have, um, yeah, Ewan McGregor, Hayden Christensen, as we know, Mo- Moses Ingram, Joel Edgerton, Joel which Ed- is yeah, yeah he's, yep. he's 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 interesting. Fucking fire. Um, Bonnie, I'm gonna murder these names. Bonnie PC, uh, Kamel Nan- Nanjani, Nanjani. He's Nanjani. he's fine. And that that's that's interesting too because he's in the, he's Eternals. In the Eternals as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, Indira Varma, which she's you know her from a bunch of shows too. Rupert mm. Friend. Uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. O'Shea Jackson. Really? O'Shea got in yeah. the fucking Star Wars Good universe. Him. Yep. Yep. Good for him. Uh, he's a pretty good actor for he's, he yeah he's not being bad at all. a non actor he's he took it seriously after that um NWA after playing movie his dad and, yeah yeah and yep. and has straight out of done Compton some pretty decent shit after that for those of you who don't know he's Ice Cube's son that's why his Ice Cube's real name is O'Shea you guys think you Jackson. could play your he's dad you guys Jr. think you could play your dad in a movie if my dad was <laughs> was Ice Cube <laughs> I could play his ass. <laughs> no, no, no. I wouldn't be able to play my my actual dad. No, I wouldn't. My dad is uh my dad is a character, man. I need to get him into this studio, man. I I don't think I would be able to 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 fully like play him if it was like a, a legit like like it's legit a it's legit, legit movie straight out of Compton. You gave was. me yes. You got money. Like there's acting coaches. You got the whole whatever you need is at your disposal. I could probably do it. My dad, <laughs> yeah, I, I know my dad's nuances and stuff. That's all it takes. So that's all it really is. What yeah. about you, Johnny? Mm, I mean, I don't look nothing like my dad, so no? they would never give me that offer. <laughs> I don't think I look exact. I don't look that much like my dad either. 
Uh, no, nah, really, but I think you could pass for a movie. If I started, <laughs> yeah. 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 They put for some a makeup movie, on you, you know, and shit. I right. think you would pass. Gary Oldman shit. I don't look not a damn thing like my dad. So uh, that you know, that's, Do you look like it's your mom. The unlikely like scenario, but could I pull parent? it off? Uh, I think I have. I I could probably do some shit. Yeah, <laughs> I could probably do something. Make you, it work. Like you said, with, with 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 all the works, right? I got the oh yeah, got the money for the you acting coach all. and yep. and the all the character shit and all you really and everything. Yeah, when it happen. when it really comes down to it, like. With uh, imitating somebody, all you really have to have is a familiarity of their nuances. That's all you really have to do. That one, like those those little mimic those little things that yeah exactly make them make them that person. There's different levels exactly. of that. Though. There is levels There's of that. You yeah. can you can really accentuate something, or you can underplay it. Like whenever I watch the the dude, the Eric Singer dude, the I remember I told you like I went in on like accents and those YouTube mm-hmm, videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah he like goes in and he'll like show you, you know, people doing different accents of like real people. And then like, he'll break down like to what degree they went with their mannerisms and how like into it they went. And sometimes they go all in and it's fire. And sometimes they go all in and it's like, yeah, that was a bad idea. And sometimes they underplay it and it's like, that was perfect. Like and it's, you just never, you never know. But I find that shit so fucking interesting. Yeah. To quote Robert Downey Jr. You went full retard. Never go full retard. <laughs> That's the golden rule. Yeah, that's the of, golden rule. Yes. <laughs> of acting in general. <laughs> you just, that's it. That's you went, you went, you went the all the way. Studio, and that's, and that's you probably should not one. have gone all the way there. <laughs> that's what James Lipton says when he opens every episode. <laughs> Is never go full retard? Yes. Sweet. I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we also have a part of this Obi Wan Kenobi cast. Is uh, what was the name of the movie that he was in? That he went that that he was talking about. Is that I am Sam? That is that Sean what it Penn? Was? Yeah, he was talking about Sean Penn and I am Sam going to. No, 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 no. But he was in the movie talking about. He was in else. Tropic Thunder. Oh, Simple Jack. Yeah, he was talking about Simple, Simple Jack. Jack. Simple yeah, Jack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went too hard on <laughs> Simple Jack. Dude. <laughs> you m- 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 make m- m- me happy. <laughs> when he's in the prison he camp the and they're like, and they're shit. forcing like, him. Ah. Ben Stiller. The, yeah. Dude that took his dentures so out funny. and they made Ben Stiller put in the dude's dentures <laughs> and act that shit out, dude. Oh, my God. I fucking love Tropic Thunder, dude. <laughs> Tropic so Thunder was a was a sleeper, man, for a lot of people. Legit, dude. it really was. It, it, it flies under the radar, but still, it is still honestly a, a radar, fucking dude. classic. It is a classic. Yeah. I um that was one of the movies I probably said it before, but uh but that was one of the movies that we had the sneak preview passes, and I had no, yeah, me too. I nice. had no <laughs> expectation of this it movie, and it just fucking murdered like it was from so the fake, hilarious from the fra- fake trailers at the beginning yeah the booty booty end. sweat and the booty sweat yep <laughs> booty Good sweat shit. into fucking uh jack black with the fucking coke addiction the and heroin shit. Yeah, yeah the heroin addiction that's right the jelly beans <laughs> like, i need my jelly beans <laughs> that's so great i could talk about oh that man oh yo oh i love that <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you can do a movie like that anymore Mm-mm. I think uh, I think there was a meme around. It's just like, yo, if we make a black Iron Man movie, who would be who would be Iron Man? <laughs> be. And then they show Robert Downey Jr. in blackface oh, from dude. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I would want to see that before the Eternals. Yes. I would one hundred percent go see that first. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be fucking great. That's fun. My 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 favorite scene in there is like, yo, you look, you look, Jack, like Rambo, like not Rambo one, but Rambo two. When he was all cut up, he's he like, really, yeah. Cut. He's like, yeah, like Rambo two. Like, Give me the fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great shit. All right, uh, the last one that's notable, at least, uh, I I like him. He's not too bad. Is uh. As far as the Obi Wan Kenobi cast is Sung Sung Kang, he's uh I I didn't know this guy's name, but he's famous from uh from the Fast and the Furious franchise back mm. when uh, oh, I think it was Drift. like Fast Five yeah Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Drift when he died like it was that that same dude and so. they brought him back didn't they bring him back wasn't there some kind of... 
I don't think they brought him weird shit. Like I don't know. No. Like a dream sequence or something. Yeah. He came, he came back and like when, when he died in a, like it was a, it was a, uh, I think it was he's in the a new newer one movie. That still he hasn't died. Come out. And then when he died, uh, it was uh, uh, Jason Statham's character who actually caused it to happen. And so it was like a callback. Uh, so he yes, was there. Yes, yeah. Yes. Like but I, I heard, oh, or I think already? it's in the trailer. No, and in the trailer for the the one that got delayed because of COVID, mm-hmm. the next one was that Fast and Furious <laughs> Ten. That shit needs to fucking um, end already, man. It uh, he's back. He's oh, he's, he's officially back. back in the franchise. Jesus, how? Who cares? I don't at this point? He didn't actually die. I nice. They Colson him. Really? So when so when he was so when he was sitting in that car, feeling like looking <laughs> like he was. Immobile as he fuck. He was good. He was just chilling. Was just ketchup. before, was ketchup. just before he the car exploded. It exploded. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I get it. No, I I, I get how people can get out of that. Protective materials inside the car because he was secretly a NSA agent or some shit. Yeah. Who knows how they're gonna smart fucking fix that shit? But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in the trailer. It's a multiverse. The rock accidentally ejaculated on the car and it protected it from actually exploding. Um, you just spoiled it for I everybody. Did. I did. Fuck. Good job. <laughs> All right. So, in, uh, in other news, uh, Sylvester Stallone, is, he, he says that he's working on a Rocky prequel series. For who? Uh, obviously, not him to play say, a young Rocky. We're past um, prequels, brother. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely past the Rocky movies. Even with However, that, even with the Irishman type technology, that's you're not. Nah, he's not. He's not doing it. You see how veiny and like wrinkly his muscles are. Like he's still jacked, but he has the scariest looking he, muscles. Where it looks like there's like that gum, doesn't gummy bother me as much as his Scary. face just looks like it's been it's, smashed in multiple it's times, melting. <laughs> but at the, <laughs> it, his face looks like it's melting, but at the same time, it's been propped up to not melt. I think he has Bell's palsy. <laughs> that makes any on one side. Yeah, I mean that's oh why God. he's always. <laughs> but that's why he's always had that. Right. You know that's right. why he's always looked like that. I so mean, we're not had a stroke, and he's going in on him over here. No, you know I'm, he's the voice. I'm talking of, about uh, the fucking work that he has, <laughs> has, he has had done. The shark. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, yeah. He's the voice. Yeah, I thought it He's was the Taika. Voice of the shark. Taika, I think, is the. Pl- no, 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 no. Taika's in the movie, but no one knows who he is playing yet. Huh? That hasn't mm. been revealed yet. Well, I'm just gonna find out though. He's looking it up right now. No, I always Sylvester thought Stallone. it was That's Taika. Like, and yeah, <laughs> like. Now that you think about it, when you hear him, it's like, Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's just Sylvester Stallone. And there's no character listed. I don't even think they're doing the facts. He went right to see who Taika was, and it wasn't listed. There's There's no no one there under under Taika. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So, I think it's going to be that starfish that was in the trailer. Yeah, probably. It's going to be the most obscure thing. Like when George, George Clooney was in South Park. You remember he was like the cat that would like meow. They made like a big deal out of a George Clooney cameo <laughs> on a South Park episode. And there was a, literally a cat that meowed twice. And it was George Clooney that fucking meowed as the cat. And that was his. That was his fucking. And he was all about it, dude. He was oh, into yeah. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. George Clooney. That's the good. easiest oh, paycheck he's shit. ever received. I never <laughs> knew that he was the cat. I remember seeing this shit. And I would see it at the end and it would say, George Clooney. And yeah. I'm like. Who the fuck was George Clooney? <laughs> and I would just, I never gave a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't care. That's hilarious. Or like uh, Brad Pitt in, in um, Deadpool 2. Mm-hmm. He played the invisible guy when he got, when he oh, got yeah, electrocuted yeah, yeah. Yeah. on the things yep. for that one second where he was just like, ah. I love those type of cameos. I where, do you too. know, it's just out yeah. of fun. I'll take like, it. You know what's the best? They're just fucking around. You know what's the best cameo that technolo- technology was around? But not enough to where it was spoiled for us, and I remember it vividly. Mm. Scotty doesn't know. In yeah. Road Trip, was Matt was Damon the playing, mm-hmm. playing the the dude oh, singing yeah. that shit? I love that. Matt Damon does a lot of wild cameos. He like, does. Yeah, he does a lot of cameos. Yeah, he's in he's, he's like in Love and Thunder. Cameo. Yeah, this. Who else was he? He was. He just, was he in was the in last. He was in the last Thor. He played. He he was uh, one of the actors. I think he played like Loki. 
Yeah. yeah. And then he was also like. <laughs> I remember like, wait a minute, is that Matt Damon? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's yeah. always Matt Damon. That was great. There was something else that I saw. He was like, he had like makeup on. He was in the back of a truck crushing some beers. It was just like a redneck dude. <laughs> and I remember watching the scene and then reading afterward that it was Matt Damon. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> was he, why he would he do so that? Like, shit. there was no. Because he doesn't give a there shit. Was He's no fucking point, Matt Damon. Dude. is great. He's probably uncredited, honestly. So going to his fucking IMDb isn't even going to help. He just does that shit for fun. <laughs> he played Loki in Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah, that's right. I watched that at Johnny's Cabin. Oh, when everybody Deadpool 2. He was redneck number two. That's right. It was Deadpool 2. <laughs> there we go. That was that. He was redneck number two. I knew it was redneck Deadpool dude. Right. I wasn't just being fucking. Oh, that's great. Matt Damon is a, he, he's the best. He's been in some really, really great fucking movies, and you wouldn't expect him to do shit like that. When the fuck was the last time we saw Ben Affleck as a cameo in some obscure, funny-ass movie? Never. Nah. He was, in, was he in the Jay and Silent Bob reboot? Huh? Was he? Yeah. Yeah. No, he, uh, he wasn't that. But <laughs> nah, they're, they're a part of that group, though. <laughs> that's true. That's, yeah. his, that's his people. That was the reason why Kevin he, Smith he even did be- it. Him and Kevin Smith were beefing for a while. Really? And they squashed it just so that they would, so he would come back and film, like, his shit for Clerks too. I don't remember oh. why, but that was a whole thing. Ah, eh, whatever. All right, so that hasn't um, been released yet, right? What Clerks two? Yeah, d- no, Clerks two. Clerks the, Clerks, the th- third Clerks, Clerks two. Hasn't. Clerks two came out a hot minute ago. Yeah, that was the one with uh, the Kinky Kelly. Yeah, you never go ass to mouth. Rosario oh, Dawson. <laughs> Maybe in the heat of passion. <laughs> I like that better than Clerks One. Yeah, honestly. oh I love, yeah, I love Clerks yeah. Two. Yeah, Clerks Two is fire. Clerks One, Clerks uh, it wasn't has not come out yet. Clerks One was at that point where I, I, I didn't see it. Like when it came out, I didn't see it, yeah. but there was enough buzz that I was thinking, like, oh, should I see this? You went back, yeah, and you, you would go back. back, yeah, you like school. you go back, but then Clerks Two was. Much better. It was, you know, it was a new release, like, when I was all already into movies and shit like that. So, that's yeah. definitely the better a totally of the two. totally different type of movie, though. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, it is. I it mean, is. Clerks 1 was, like, low-budget, black and white. Yeah, you right. Know, it was, like... Let's get this done. They used microphones. They had boom mics, like, on hockey sticks, I read, when they were filming that shit. Like, yeah. they, you know, instead of holding, like, the normal, like, that mic over there, dude, like, they just... Nice. Literally tape microphones to hockey sticks. Fuck it, and, man! It got it. it got it, it done, done, and it, exactly. gave, and it gave them their career. Exactly. And he sold his comic book collection to fund that movie, like his pride and joy. And he bought most of it back. Oh, killed. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, so let's get through this part. Um, so Disney Plus uh, green lights a national treasure TV series with a Latina lead. National Treasure. So we're getting some. Here. It's it's one of those things where we didn't ask for it, but we're not cool. mad at it either. <laughs> it's like they take the right. premise and apply it to something. You know? Else. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad at that news, but like she's not going to steal the Declaration of Independence, right? Like uh, we. I'm. I'm. I'm sure she will. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, um, Black Adam cast Pierce Brosnan as uh, Doctor Fate. So I'm not oh. mad at that either. Pierce Brosnan mm-hmm. is uh That's is be good. I fuck good for with Pierce. Pierce. Is an esteemed uh actor and you know, I fuck with that. I fuck with him. Uh Black Adam, like I said, if it's if they continue with what Shazam did, I fuck with it. I don't know if they will, where it's like a little bit of right. comedy, you know what I mean? Like all mixed in there. I don't know if they'll go with that. However, if they if they continue I mean, with it's that the rock, it's, right? Yeah. It is. They have to. I I would assume so. I I'm I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with the tone. story. So is is he? He isn't he like the villain? He's supposed to be the villain in Shazam two, but they're yeah, giving him his so, own movie in this one before the yeah, Shazam two. I think he's like an antihero. Mm. Mm. Like he's a villain with Shazam, but he will end up like peacefully going away and then we'll have his own movie where he's the anti-hero a la venom but but black adam does that doesn't that come out which one comes out first i don't know so shazam 
Black Adam filming. Or Black month, Adam, the maybe the Black Adam movie is more. Um, Shazam: Fury of the Gods in the drops back. in twenty twenty three. And then Black Adam comes in. Black Adam comes in. Uh, 2022 so we get black adam first okay it could be a prequel type thing yeah it's just introducing the character yeah yeah all right i still fuck with it it's the I mean, rock not pre- i'll give it a chance prequel but yeah and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The character. Right. like I, 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 it's the rock it's the rock i, I fuck with it i'll give him rock. a chance so Holla. whatever and then um a couple small but I mean, he things he was the bad guy in like black adam i believe is the one of the wizards that they never talk about in Shazam or right? He's it's like, the, yeah, he's an ancient. It's the one that went bad. Yeah. He's, he's the way, at least the trailer that, that one little animated trailer that we got that was, who was it drawn by? It was a, uh, it was an Instagram famous guy, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, the one trailer oh, the that we one got that, that was that the rock was narrating. Yeah. Like that's the first one, and it and it just seems like yeah he's like the, the the that ancient warrior type thing you know like ancient Egypt and whatnot, so he's that one that went through the ages and now he's showing up now and uh, mm. and he's gonna be fighting Shazam, so you have enough I time saw- to. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. You able have to enough see time Shazam to get to, to catch up for twenty twenty three, and I still be like, "Shit, it's coming out tomorrow. I gotta watch Shazam." Yeah, and, and I promise you, it's, well, no, it's actually Black Adam good. comes out next year. Yep, Black Adam comes out July Fuck. 2020. Actually, that's that's what what I just see here. So, uh, the DC movie so far, at least right now, because obviously things change. Tentative, but uh, we're getting from the DC movies. We're getting Suicide Squad, or the Suicide Squad, August sixth. 2021 we get the batman march 4th 2022 july 29th 2022 we get black adam the flash comes out in november of 2022 uh i know it's so far out and then we get aquaman 2 in december 2022 and then shazam fury of the gods doesn't come out till june 2023 so we have a ways yeah i think you should watch it dave I will. I, I, I will. No, I really will. I'm not even going to lie, dude. Like, you will Pretty be sure surprised by it. It's I don't even think I will. I feel, I feel like I know I'm going to like it. I just yeah, haven't done it it's yet. Gonna, like, it, it's not. It surprised I'm not avoiding me. it. It surprised me because I, I knew nothing about Shazam. It looked good. They, they made the, it, the they tone made it really of it looked good to me. Like, my kind of tone. Yeah. That big, jokey superhero. Big with superhero. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Sarcasm. It. Yep. And um, lastly, we're getting a... Thundercats movie from the uh, the director of Godzilla vs. Kong. Thundercats, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm not Thundercats really live action or? It doesn't quite say, but that's what it implies. Wait, the, so they're gonna be, the director they're gonna of Godzilla vs. Kong? Yep. That's that young dude, right? Yes. McG? Just kidding. It's, not <laughs> no. it's the opposite. Oh no! Of the wait, dude. I'm thinking of the guy that did Kong Skull Island. No, no, we were we were thinking about that though. Is um when we when we looked at the director of of Godzilla versus Kong, and it's a fairly young yeah, new I, director. I vaguely remember doing that. Yeah, actually. we were talking about it. He's he's a newer director. So, and we were thinking about like, man, he's he's really uh we're, we're he's really they're putting Wingard. everything on. There. They're putting everything on this Godzilla movie. So. And it looks fire. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm not even. I'm not even hating on it. Hopefully he. Uh, hopefully he does. Thundercats. 2021. Damn. Nah. Probably what? the TV show. That's what IMDb says. Uh, right. It says Godzilla versus Kong 2021. Thundercats. No. No date. Oh. Oh. oh, oh my. <laughs> you were. You were one row. Oh off yeah, on no, that. I see it. I saw the same thing, Johnny, when I looked at it. I was That's like, yeah, it says right. Twenty twenty one, right there. That's right. He's responsible for VHS, which is like some obscure, like these these horror movies that that uh, got a cult following. Mm-hmm. Then he did the latest Blair, oh, the Witch, Blair in 20, Witch, yeah, remake. and then he did Death Note. Uh, he directed Death Note, the live action movie that went to Netflix. Mm. Which was mm, mm. whatever. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. I wasn't. I don't really remember the the anime really like that, so it wasn't a huge movie to me. Word. 
Um, but I did, I did watch that one. It wasn't bad. Uh, so, but if this all goes well, he's going to be directing a Thundercats movie. So that'll be dope. That'll be real nostalgic. Uh, yeah, very, very, very interesting. Um, but other than that, we don't have anything else. You guys have anything to join before we or to add before we jump into spoiler alerts? Hit that spoiler alert, huh? So if you are not familiar with the show at this point, that sound means that we are going to be in our spoiler alert segment of the podcast where we're going to be talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier. And we've all caught up with new new invincible, uh, which we're we're pleasantly (laughs) surprised by. So if you are not caught up on these and you do not want these to be spoiled, you can fall off right now and then come back at a later date once you're caught up. Come back, though. Yeah, you can come we, back we when you're late, when you're, uh, you're all caught up. up, or you just don't care about spoilers. Either way, we'll try to uh, uh, Johnny. You think it's it's possible for us to start uh, at least taking down the the timestamp for that for the spoiler alert segment, so we can let people know so they can come back to it. Yeah. Wham, wham, wham. All right. So then, uh, so then we'll we'll try to do that. We'll put it in the show notes. Give me a clap. So clap? that if you come back, <laughs> stop with your fucking I'm not clapping. clapping. I'm not clapping. I'm not clapping. <laughs> no clap. So that uh, we'll put no it in clap. the show notes uh, just in case, you know, so that when you want to come back to it, you can join in on the conversation. So if you're falling off now, peace. We love you. Remember to have your, your people's rate, review, subscribe. Recommend to see your friends. All right. Yep. So what do you want to start with? Uh, the Banyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've already established we've already this. St- Fuck. All right. Let's uh, go. Uh, Falcon or, or let's Invincible? go Falcon. Fuck it. I mean, doesn't matter. All right. So guys, uh, guys. we episode guys. two of Falcon and Winter Soldier drop. Guys. What are your What are your thoughts, Johnny? Know, let's let's this, Johnny. Let's go, let's go with Johnny. I want to hear what Johnny thinks about because the new I feel captain. I feel like Johnny is. I get, I get vibes from the new captain, and I need to know how you guys feel about the new captain. I want to know Johnny because I feel like he's the one that's just like, you know, <laughs> no WandaVision. It's no WandaVision. You know, it's not a. Don't make him sound like. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to blurt these names out now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I've always wanted to be blurred like. Bleeped out? Can you bleep me out? Johnny? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bleep that that the these names bleep out. out every time we say Blazer Ramon. Nah, sure. <laughs> we ne- we never say Blazer. Ramon. No, never. Beep, beep. Um, nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> meh. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not. I don't want to be like that. Like, it, it's not. <laughs> he like was that. gonna be like that, and so you called him out. He was like, right, "I'm not gonna be like that." Now. I'm not gonna be like that. <laughs> Listen, it's it's entertaining. It's definitely not not entertaining, right? Like, mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I'm not looking forward to it every week. Like right. I'm not yeah, it's hyped. Not that, it's not that same. Um, yeah, it's I'm not interesting. Finding, I'm not finding myself waking up at six in the morning or whenever. Yeah. Six in the morning and jumping directly to it. Like but Mando. I'm I'm really enjoying it though. Yeah, for sure. It's enjoyable. It's it's. I mean, like I said uh, in the group chat, I was when I was watching it um, last Friday. I, I had ended up. I was at the lake, so I ended up running out of power. And I didn't get to see it till later in the evening, like six, seven o'clock. And when I put it on, Joyce comes out and she, you know, we had already decided we were going to play a drinking game that night. And she was like, oh, you, you put a movie on? Which movie is this? Uh, I was like, nah, this is the show. This is, you know, this is <laughs> this Falcon is Winter Soldier. <laughs> she was like, oh, oh, it looks gave, good. Gave and so that's how, little, you know, it's, then, it's uh MCU show. 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 It's a little MCU yeah. show. Funny thing, though, uh, but Jillian it, you was know, the same way. She really way. thought it was a flick. Jillian was the same way. She didn't mention that it was a flick, but I was watching it, and she she was, you know, she caught herself watching it. And yeah. I was like, oh, I could just watch this later. She's like, no, no, no. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's okay. Like, all right. it's, a, yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty good, you know? Like, uh, like I'm into it. I'm like, all right. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. going to leave. Leave the remote just alone. Leave quick. the remote over here <laughs> for now. <laughs> uh, no doubt. So, yeah. you know, like I said, it's interesting. I think the the graphics, high caliber. 
um, you know, it's only six episodes and it's got a huge budget. So they were able to, the episodes are a little bit longer because again, it's only six episodes, right? So they're mostly like 40 minute ish, 38 minutes of, of runtime of, uh, actual content. And so it's, I, I'm enjoying it. I, it's just, I'm, when I poo poo it, I'm just kind of like, it's dope, but it's not, there's nothing driving me to like really be invested in the the flag smashers and the super <laughs> yeah. soldiers and yeah. and and the the power broker oh my god the okay. power broker oh i, I don't know it's, it's cool right. but uh to answer dave's thing um i am conflicted mm -hmm. with john walker the captain america too because they did kind of set him up in the beginning of the episode as like oh man he's not a dick you know right. he is just trying to fit in what he's been given and then they but then later dick. he says things like he calls sam captain's wingman right and it's yeah. like come on you know he's he's not just a wingman like he's right. a real hero right and so uh and he does a couple other things where he's, he's just like, like stay the hell out of my way at the yeah, end yeah like, and, and that was very you know, sinister and he's at the end of the day he's just following government orders, orders right? right like he's not like captain america was above that like he was always just trying to make the right choice and always made the right whether, choice whether where, it was in favor of the government or or out exactly. of favor yeah. He always made the right choice that made sense to him. Do we yeah. know, does this new captain, do we know, like, what kind of strength he has? Because you saw him. This is a question that. I have. Saw him catching yeah, that I fucking, have a question. He, he was says, catching shield like a motherfucker, that's what though. I'm, like, like, that shit had to hurt or something. I, like, don't make no sense to me. those targets, dude. Like, he's just a normal dude. Like, I could go out there and fucking... That's, hit the target. that's you remember exactly, that scene exactly that what yeah, I... Because yeah, yeah, yeah. in the interview, about. he says... Without super strength or some right. shit. When he's on the Good Morning America for shit, he says, uh, yeah, but without super strength or whatever. But then they show him catching that shield, and I'm like, there's no fucking way. And then there was another time that he was talking to his boy, um, Battlestar. I don't know yeah. what the other name is, what his full name is. Uh, but when he was talking to him, they, they like kind of looked at each other when something was brought up about super soldier like new super soldiers when they were talking about the uh, the flag uh, when they were all four in the truck mm -hmm. in the back of the truck and they were talking about the flag smashers and he was like we think that they're super soldiers and they were like what like more it, they kind of made that look like oh shit we're not the only ones oh shit yeah, i think they might the two yeah. of them might also already it, have it but it would make sense. Yeah. Low about that, it. that would make that would make sense um and i feel like even though they didn't kick no crazy ass on the top right. of that because he got his like ass beat he got thumped yeah. out there yeah like, no yeah. super True. soldier should be getting thumped like that yeah but it but if he if he knows that he can't quite let sam and bucky know that he's a super soldier right then he would he would take that ass beaten you know because it would like really what would it what would it do to him? Yeah. Uh, other than he yeah. would he would he would lose the the yeah. mission at hand. But, um, I think I it, you know and and I don't want to pry too much. And I I I I'm not I'm invested in it, but I'm not as invested as like I was in like the WandaVision story as far as yeah you know yeah what's gonna sure. happen. But I'm but my my natural assumption right now is that yes he 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 will either be revealed to already have, uh, you know, be a super soldier or at one point he will be a super soldier because mm -hmm. he is, you know, like they're going to be thinking, yo, if I'm cap, I have to be able to stand up to these people. And then the, the, that right there would cause for him to stray. Maybe maybe his boy dies or something. Something is going to cause for him to actually be, uh, you know, not, uh, not the actual cap. He's gonna he's gonna stray. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna be a villain by the end, and um and and we're gonna see how that plays out because I don't see him willfully like like willingly giving the, the shield, shield up. up to anybody. He's obviously not going to be Captain America in any of the films. 
And I think that we're, that we're getting to a point where Sam is going to end up being like forcing himself to take it. it he 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 will feel by the end of it. I think he will feel like he's worthy of doing of taking up the mantle because right now that's where it is. Is like he doesn't feel like he's worthy enough to be cap. Um, Bucky isn't right. going to end up being cap at this point because. He he's so conflicted. And he was an assassin. He's so he conflicted so in his, mm-hmm. in he he's so he's so confl- like he's so, um, into his his mental state right now that he is not in a position to take mm-hmm. that mantle, and he knows that, so he will not accept it. But we will not leave this season with uh with that dude being kept. Do you know where that dude's from? Does he look familiar to you? Guys? He does Did look, you look familiar. it up. He I so I, I actually I had to look it up. He was in 22 Jump Street. He was that dude. What? He was the quarterback with the long hair that fucking what's-his-face was trying to get in tight with. Really? Channing Tatum, yeah, <laughs> Zook. I, I wouldn't remember that, that was, shit. That, no, like, when, he's obviously not as jacked and his hair was different, but, like, I knew when I saw him, I was like, how the fuck do I know that dude? Wyatt Russell. Wyatt Russell. Yeah, I've seen him in shit before. He's been in a number of things. Overlord, I've seen that. I never saw Overlord. Um, that was, that was a pretty good was movie. Good. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie. Um, I, yeah, I've seen him before he, oh, he was in black mirror. That's probably mm. where I really remember him from. Rusted well, development. Not watch black mirror. He was in walking dead. I 100%, um, remember that. Um, his first credit was escape from LA. Wow. 96. Yeah. I don't remember him from that shit. He was like, anyway, he had to be a um, kid. he just has that, that familiar face, but, uh, I, I Getting back to Falcon and Winter Soldier, the things that I'm excited about is I've been saying it from the beginning. I love I love the character development, seeing the struggles that they're both going through. They they um went into in this episode they went a little bit further into like the uh you know, um Sam still having like r- racial issues in the real world. Um mm-hmm. because like when they were arguing in the street about uh, the other that shit was soldier. wild when the cops yeah, came the up. Cops Isaiah rolled up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they came up to him and he was like, "Is he bothering you?" He's like, "What?" <laughs> that was up. Up. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. And we we know that is? that shit. Like, it seems like oh, he's really like like they're really playing into that shit. But we know that that shit does happen. Is legit. <laughs> yeah, that shit is one hundred percent legit. So um, if you don't believe that to be true, we then you really need read to do about, like sports stars that like report a crime at their house and the cops show up and pull the gun on them until they realize that like who they are or like that they were the yeah, ones that because the cops you know suit. it's it's uh you know black people can't have a fucking can't gigantic have nice things right? yeah they can't gotta be nice the criminal things. um but anyway um uh, and not only that but but uh one big surprise which i didn't know until after the episode um uh, i think his name is isaiah the super soldier that 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 bucky uh went to go visit yeah when they went to visit him in the comics that he was uh he was actually uh uh captain america mm-hmm. uh for for a period of time and then his grandson who answered the door took up the mantle the young uh, avengers later. right he yep, became the, a young avenger yep he became a young I don't avenger i remember what so. his name was but yeah there was a mm-hmm. bunch of so a lot of people were really excited to see those two characters uh come to light in this episode so there's a lot of like little things that are like little, little seeds that little seeds planting, that they're planting yeah. because that that's what they say too. They're they're also planting a lot of seeds for the young Avengers, uh, which would be fire. Um, I'm I'm down for that, for sure. Um, and uh, so and all of those little things are dropping here. So I'm I'm personally, I'm happy about uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier again. Yeah, I agree with you. It's not like the the show that I'm just like on the edge of my seat the entire time, but I think they do it. They do very well with balancing action and yeah. drama. Oh yeah. yeah. Just it keeps like, me entertained. Just it keeps like me entertained. WandaVision did dude. Just like, mm-hmm. I mean, honestly the Marvel movies, like that's their thing. They mm-hmm. balance that fucking action and drama and some humor in there when it calls for like, that's quite honestly, it's fire. I can't wait for the last few episodes. Because we're already getting some good, like some really good action sequences. Mm -hmm. So you know that the last, at least two episodes are going to be crazy. That last, that the the very last episode is probably going to be. I think so. Yeah. Very fucking eventful where we're going to look back and we're going to be like, damn, Falcon and Winter Soldier was fucking 
yeah. wild. Like that shit was great. Uh, and and I that's feel like I it's gonna have way. some greater impact into the into the uh, MCU because we're not expecting the MCU. it. Dude. We kind of yeah. we're, we're lulling through this right now, and then they're gonna hit you with something mm-hmm. like the penultimate or the last episode. The only reason why we felt so much more impact from WandaVision within the first couple, you know, two, three episodes were because it was so like vastly different. Right. And we didn't know what the fuck was going on. And we would just assume that was like no Marvel. So that's the only thing. There's no assuming in this one. There's no assumptions. There's like, it's a straight nothing to look into. It's a straightforward Mm -hmm. story and I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like an action series almost. It's not like I said, I, I've said this before, like I needed that after WandaVision, mm-hmm. after everything that <laughs> that we went Just through with that show and our tune in being inside our own heads, tune in, drop in, tune in, drop in, whatever yep. the saying is. But yeah, I, 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 I don't look forward to it in the same way, but I still appreciate it as much when I do get to watch it. And afterwards, I'm like, OK, that was that was good. And like I. Like the dude that plays Bucky, like Winter Soldier, when Winter Soldier was first Sebastian introduced, Stan. yeah, Sebastian Stan, dude. Like, I, I didn't really like, I didn't like the character. Obviously, I didn't like the actor. Like, I really wanted really? nothing. To, yeah, honestly. And then, like, as the the movies went on and he became more prominent, I was like, oh, Winter Soldier, that's my man right there. Like, yeah. I, I fuck with him real hard now. But yeah. like, he he had to grow on me for a while. But I always remembered Sebastian Stan from Hot Tub Time Machine. He was like the dickhead fucking ski patrol dude, and he was such a bitch. I didn't even. I don't even. <laughs> oh, dude, it was a just a, a bit part, but he was like he was funny, dude. And mm-hmm. You remember Hot Tub Time Machine? I do uh, vaguely. I yeah. don't remember who, who I watch it. All I don't remember time. seeing Sebastian Stan in it. <laughs> Nobody really? would. Yeah, yeah, it's he's he's young. He's clean shaven, dude, and he's he's just a dick. He's like I'm a hard hoping, ass, dude. <laughs> quite really honestly, funny. I I do like Sebastian Stan, yeah. and I'm hoping that um. That and and he's already addressed the rumors of like playing Luke Skywalker right. and stuff like that. Oh, he has. Yeah, what he, has he said? Just uh, he he for said it. something, and obviously, I'm, I mean, I don't have to bring it up or anything, but um, he says something around uh, you know, something around that uh, if like he's like when Mark Hamill comes up to me and asks me to be this and hands me a script, then I'll believe it. But he hasn't been. So he he said all the right things. He's like, I have n- heard nothing about this, but I would do it in a fucking heartbeat. He said, yeah, I would do it, but I don't like, he, like all these rumors that, hey, this person is blah, blah, blah. But he's like, when Mark Hamill hands me a, a script, I that's when that's when I would believe it. Would and Mark was, Hamill really gotcha. hand him anything, though? No, I mean, like, no. <laughs> like that's a weird thing to say. Like, he he just Hamill. says that because I get, I get what he's, he's saying. Yeah, like, he's, when he passes the torch, and, he passes okay. the torch, and we he says, it. "Yo, like you know," because he is going to have to Disney work. Exec. He's going to have to work with Mark Hamill <laughs> to get the the nuances sure, of sure. Uh, of Luke Skywalker and shit. I get what so he's saying. he will weird, be involved. So let's let's you know, Mark Hamill <laughs> isn't Mark exactly Hamill like taking every fucking movie role. And whatnot, you know, he he's Mark Hamill, so we love him. Right. He's the cock knocker, but he's not. Yeah, he's the cock knocker, and he's <laughs> he's uh, he plays like all these small roles, and he does a lot of voice acting. Just whatever. When you're but Luke the, Skywalker, you can do whatever the fuck you want. At the end of the day, if there is a Luke Skywalker character being made, they will come up to Mark Hamill, and he will have a say what in, so. in what goes on. One thousand percent. Mm. Probably <laughs> not in what do? goes on, what but he just... will be involved. Well, it, be involved. I think it depends on if Kathleen Kennedy is still running things. Yeah, she's gone on to something else. It all depends on who's in charge and what, right. how much they care. It's kind of like what I was thinking about. Like the I was thinking about it the uh, the other day, like about the Snyder Cut. Like mm-hmm. you know, they said they're not going to continue it, and we talked about it, and I even like made fun of anyone thinking that they are going to bring it back. But if they fire all those people that are currently running the right, studio right. It's and they're replaced by people that are like, you know what? Yeah. Let's bring the <laughs> Snyder cut back. The they Snyder verse back. And, and Zack Snyder's actually into it. Then it can totally happen. Yeah. It, it's totally about who's running. We don't running know, until, right they, we don't know until they actually like confirm. Yeah. Like so it's all about who's involved and who's Zach paying Snyder the bills. says he's done. They throw they that money at him. They that flash at him. Right. that guap. And, and they give like, him oh, and they give him full creative 
They're like, just don't make it four Authority, hours. Authority, you know what I mean? Four hours, just please. don't make it four hours. Just don't dude, make please. it four hours. You have free reign. I'd be happy we'll you if you make it two, two hours and 50 minutes max. <laughs> 253. That's the running time of Scarface. You get a Scarface length amount of time. Or make it two fucking movies. Like, that could have been, that could have no, been split into don't, two. Don't kill Bill it, dude. That was wrong. You think so? I think they should have just dropped that all. I mean, uh, the, they're not going the to. The first kill Bill, much. dude, was not. I didn't think there was enough sustenance for. Yeah, really? but, but I look thought at that shit was fire. No, it in was. The first I thought that shit were walk in the theater. No, I, I mean, I, I thought it was fire too, but I just, I wanted more. I wanted the continue. Like, of the, course, yeah, but they, that's they, what made you like want little, more. A little whisper of Bill, and you're like, fuck, I need to see. That's more what Bill. made you want to watch the second one so but like, bad. I feel like the meat of it, the meat of it was in Kill Bill Volume Two, and I feel like I, I don't know. But now that we've seen Justice League. That split into two movies, it would have worked. I, I it mean, I watched it in two hour chunks. I didn't. But I I agree. However, if it, if if that movie was split into two, there was enough action and like dope shit that went on, like giving that whole backstory, the whole fight with uh with um uh, Dark Side, and you know, like showing all of that previous stuff there was a lot of action that went on that first half yeah and then if that would have been cut off at some point like obviously in a good way we would have been clamoring for the second half which obviously would have been so much better when it got to that like that the 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 ending Mm -hmm. but we definitely would have felt much better about that than what we got in the theatrical cut like just let him do what he's doing. Say, okay, I get the reason why you want four movie, uh, like four hours. But let's do two movies, like whatever, and then release them, like year apart. within not even a, yeah, well maybe right a year apart is generally the standard, right? Yeah, minimum, okay. unless you do some Matrix shit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna think. Like, uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, I, I couldn't think of what movie did, like, did it. Memorial Day and Labor Day, or some oh, shit like damn. that. Right. That, I don't remember it being that. Yeah, close. it was like yeah. really or close. Maybe shit. it might. Maybe it was Thanksgiving, November, Still? but Revolutions was the same year. Yeah, and see, like, I would fuck with that. Like, give us just a, like a good four, like five, even six months, half a year, to yeah. just like Digest. take that shit in and then drop the next one. What? People would be super fucking excited about that. Definitely. Yeah. I'd be down for that. I fuck with it. All right. I wouldn't shunt. All right. So uh, any other thoughts on Falcon and Winter Soldier? That's I en- it for this week. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was a good episode. Definitely. We I'm got some, some week, little yeah. little uh, little tidbits in there. We all fucking hate Cap still. Yeah. He's, uh, a, <laughs> he's a fucking little bitch. <laughs> oh, um, shit. That was hard. Yeah. yeah no, no. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a, a bitch. B- he is a bitch. <laughs> My cap. <laughs> listen, drop. Fuck. listen, uh, <laughs> uh, see, see, this is why we need the, this this fuck. <laughs> um, and my cap, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. I have an underbite, so it's not, I'm not, I'm not against people. My cap does not have an underbite. Yeah. He's got okay. a, my severe, cap is perfect. a severe underbite. <laughs> my cap is perfect. He doesn't look doofy like that motherfucker. Uh, anyway. All right. So, <laughs> uh, but we're, but I'm really enjoying is it. Is that so, America's ass? No. It's That's uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it's America's ass, but I'm I'm telling you right now, it is not America's underbite. It is America's. That's all we have. It's not America's underbite. Fuck it's my underbite. <clears throat> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I paused that. I just <laughs> I just felt like <laughs> you just feel like <laughs> Pause. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Listen Look to what yourself. this quarantine is doing <laughs> to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um. All right, so uh, now, lastly, let's get into Invincible. Mm-hmm. Uh, personally, I really enjoyed it. I am, uh, for, for the, the OG listeners of this podcast, they know that I am not really into these, uh, these, these animated Adult TV animated shows. Series. I love animated like movies <laughs> like the Pis- <laughs> Pixar like those type of things. Like I actually enjoy those movies. I'll even watch like Batman, like DC cartoons, but the animated series stuff, like I didn't really get into, I don't really watch Rick and Morty or none of that bullshit. So 
<laughs> These guys always get on bullshit. me for that. Man, that bullshit. Like, I talking about my shit. I know, I know, and I know you guys are excited Rick and about Morty, the uh, season five, right? Fire, season, yeah. season five premiere trailer, trailer yeah. dropped today. I'm not even gonna hate on it because it, the the few episodes that I did watch, uh, like I enjoyed it. They're, they're pretty funny. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, just uh, I, I don't written. tune in all this. Like I'm not the person. Like oh, Rick and Morty's tonight. Oh, just I'm, not I'm that person. I know <laughs> most people are. Most I people are. Rick and Morty. But this Invincible show, I've I I, I heard a few people mention it. Johnny, I think he mentioned it. A few people mentioned it. It was just like, but I didn't even know this was a thing. Uh, saw a quick trailer and saw it on Amazon, right? It's an Amazon Prime yeah, Amazon original. Prime, yep. Saw it on Amazon Prime original. I was like, oh, it's three episodes. Cool. Jumped into it. Immediately that first, that first, uh, that first episode, first episode, what I call the Tarantino episode, the Tarantino episode was, uh, yeah. I was, didn't know what was you meant fire. by that I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to explain why I call that. So, um, so for, for those of you who are unaware, yeah, I saw Invincible, something on Twitter that was like, someone told me about Invincible and said I should watch it. And I was watching it and I was like, oh, this is cool. But why is it so great? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who are not aware, Invincible is uh, about, you know, it's kind of like what, what Johnny said. It's, a, it's the boys. It's like an animated version of the boys kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah another Amazon Prime show yeah. about superheroes yeah. that kind of right. get out of pocket sometimes. They're not. <laughs> not and the, the virtuous Superman type heroes that you look up to like they do fucked up shit sometimes. Right, and and it follows. Uh, what's the name of the of the group? Oh, you're gonna... it. it uh, there's the. It the, follows Omni Man, the and teen, then the Teen Team. Right, and the um, Global Force. The first one is the Global Force. Uh, like Global, Global Force? Defenders. Global Defend, yeah, something like. No, that. the um, Guardians of the Globe. That's Guardians what it is. Guardians of the Globe. There you All go. All right, so Guardians, so Guardians of, the of the Globe are like the main superheroes, and then there are other superhero groups like, like the, the Avengers. Yeah. Kind Fight of Force. Yeah. Avengers of that world, Fight Force so. is the niggas they always drilling on. They don't ever show them. Yep. Right. But yep. <laughs> Fight Force, You're Team way Team, than Fight Force, and something else. There's right. A, there's a couple other ones. And there's there's a lot of that going on. Um, and you know, you kind of see Omni Man is like the Superman of the group. They 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 have a lot of like they have the Wonder Woman. They have the Aquaman, who's actually like a the, part the fish. The Batman, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Batman Dark dude, Wing. Dark, Dark Wing. Um, they have a lot of those things, and you it Red, just looks Red like Red Rush is the Flash. Red Rush. Yes. Yep. 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 Um, they have a lot of those things, and, and like those characters, and you're like starting to pieced everything together you're like oh shit like all right all right and then I see how um, this is gonna go i see how this is gonna go and then and then it goes omni man completely different <laughs> yeah, yeah. Omni man is <laughs> fucking let loose but the but um even though this is spoiler alert i don't even feel right just saying like it, just saying so it wrong. um yeah. but anyway uh the the make actual sure series make sure you've seen the series the actual series actually uh gets into uh, or it follows Omni Man's son, who just developed some, you know, his superpowers. Just got into it. Uh, he's in high school. He's teaching him like how to fly. He's doing, you know, like, teaching him how to be a superhero. How to prioritize. Yeah, and uh, and and you know, after uh, dance, he gets yeah. his he gets his opportunity to actually be a superhero. And he finds out very quickly that it's uh, real shit out there. That it's real streets, shit out dude. there. Like these motherfuckers <laughs> yeah. are getting killed. Yo, I was <laughs> nervous for him, dude. When he was in that first fight, and them shits are just marching out of that portal. I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm panicking. I'm like, what the fuck would I do? I He's getting all this he goes, blood splattered on him yeah, and shit. Dude, old, People are like getting saves, really dude. murdered by aliens and shit. Yeah. Bro, he goes to save that old lady. He goes flies Her and legs then slams right. it up and fucking slams smashed. into a hole, and, and she's just like oh. all fucked up. He's like, oh my god. God, what did I do? And then that bitch died in the hospital. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was rough, dude. And that was a lesson. Like, he was like, shit. Like, that hit home for him, dude. So, like, and J.K. Simmons is Omni-Man. It's like the main, yep. sort of, like you said, Superman yep. dude. And he just does so great, like, as that character. Like, I don't know. He, he looks like uh, J. Jonah Jameson, like, at the same time. Like, <laughs> the he does. Like, that's yeah, all he does. I think. He does. But I was like, he wants pictures Perfect. of Spider-Man. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, but no, he's great. and everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. 
Uh, it's it's such a well written show, and the voice um, cast. The is voice cast is amazing. It's amazing, a lot of people dude. you won't even Walton realize. Girl. Walton Goggins, Mahershala Ali, mm-hmm. like John Hamm, dude. The fucking Matthew Groff, dude. Like, there's so many fucking voices, and I I hear them, and like I'm usually good at picking out voices, but there's so many voices in that show. Right, yeah. I had to IMDb it at like mid episode and be like, oh, okay, that's that person, and. Nice. The chick that plays uh, Stephen Yen. Stephen the, Yen is the name. The chick that plays uh, Adam, uh, Eve Adam, or Adam E, whatever the fuck mm-hmm. her Adam name Eve, is. Yeah. It's the chick from, um, what you call it? Fucking Joel McHale there, Chevy Chase, Childish Gambino. Jacobs. What the fuck is that? Community. <laughs> Community. Said Eve, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jillian Jacobs. Jillian Jacobs, dude. Yes. And I, I heard her, and I know that voice, dude, just from watching so much Community. I didn't know Zachary Quinto was, Zachary uh, was the, ro- ro- the robot. Robot. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. So it's a great cast. It's, it really, it really is, dude. Very, very. Seth Rogen is Alan the Alan Alien. Alan the Alien. I yeah. didn't know Seth yeah. Rogen oh, was a part of it. Come on, you heard that, dude? You didn't, you didn't know that that was. I Seth didn't Rogen, even part, dude. pay attention, and and uh, Mark Hamill too. What was Mark Hamill? He was the Boston guy, right? Like the Massachusetts or the Jew, Art, the Jewish guy, the yeah, Rosenbaum, Art Rosenbaum, right? Yes. Yep. Art Rosenbaum. Yes. So oh. many fucking, so many fucking people. Dude, in dude this, I was yo. going through it, dude, and it was just Jeffrey Donovan, dude. Like there was just name after name that I was seeing, and as what, you like, how do you guys feel the about list, their the cut where every time he, they do the he's invincible. about to say his name, yeah. and then they say, "Oh, his I like name. it's growing on me." Yeah, it's like growing on me. At first, it was just like, "Oh, that's awkward." I like the blood spatter. <laughs> I like the blood spatter. And the blood the spatter invincible. gets bigger and bigger as yeah. more episodes <laughs> yeah, go on. Exactly, I like that. I was like, I we find myself, we I find that, myself like, uh, really enjoying, like the the story arc and Seth Rogen's one of the producers on this, right? I think I saw why, Seth Rogen and Evan he? Goldberg. Yeah, that is why uh, the it's from like the, the Boys. Dead, yeah, the Walking Dead dude too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they produced the Boys too, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what. They, yeah, they produced the yeah. Boys. And then there's the the Boys spinoff that's coming out soon. That's like the Boys, but like it's like a teen class like a younger class that's mm-hmm. really it's like fil- it's like filming now yeah yep i did not hear about that the yeah kids. no we talked about that <laughs> kids, yeah like we talked about least, that very early on in, uh, in the teens, podcast dude because it's going to be mature for sure that's how that's how we know we're like deep like we're yeah. <laughs> we're almost at 60 episodes like we talked about that very early on <laughs> in the podcast that this was in uh in play but uh but yeah it's uh remember it was the younger kids who have these superpowers and it's going to be based on the high schoolers that, that mm. have superpowers and they're, they're good. They're getting into Starting their powers to come back to me. Yeah. So it's going to be dope. That's going to be fucking fire. That'll be interesting. But what guys, did they, did they release all invincible at once? Like the episodes? Yeah. Or yeah. Has that been weekly since? No, it was, it was no, the I first it, three drops. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I saw it first. It was and the first then, redrop. I, I I didn't know how long it was already out. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think it had been out long. No, it wasn't because I started like seeing. So. I started. Yeah. I started seeing uh, gentlemen who were t- associated with DFAT, and uh, who who put in like a little bit of a not not really a review, but just saying like, "Yo, like the writing is great." Blah blah blah, which brought it to my attention, and then I think. You hit you hit up the group like yo have y'all y'all seen this invincible? And I was like I have no idea. And then it was yeah I had no idea what it was either. And then and then it all started to click and I'm like oh all right like I'll I'll give this a shot. I thought it was more like I didn't see a trailer or anything, but I assumed it was more like Archer, where it was more comedy mm. attached to it like yeah yeah jokes and like that kind of thing. Um, the and then when I started style is like anime esque. Do you guys get that vibe when you when you watch it? I didn't get that. See, I think that's why nah, I think it just gives me like a GI Joe vibe almost. Really? Yeah, I thought it gave me a little bit of an Archer vibe just from like the images that I saw. But once mm-hmm. once I actually watched the episode, then I was like, "Oh, all right, this is a little bit different than what I anticipated." It was a little bit more. It's I'm wondering how the they're going to bring back the... around now that you say about like how you first saw it. Uh, it brings me back to like the beginning of the first episode and how it actually starts. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering how they're going to bring back around that story of the, the, cause they brought it back twice. Right. Like where the security guard was talking about his son and reconnecting. Well, you know and then in the next episode, they show him with his son in the UK. And then like, there's Chicago. a whole fucking attack and shit. 
but they survived. Yeah. So I'm I'm assuming they're that's gonna be there's something about that. They're not just yeah. There's a story on John Hamm too. Like they're not gonna throw away John Hamm. Like and you know oh, that's what? John gonna, Hamm's yeah, character. That the, yeah, that was John Hamm character. And I'm gonna throw yeah. it out there because this is the spoiler alert. Omni Man goes fucking crazy, starts smashing all of their fucking heads, and like he murdered the murdering the entire the entire of the globe. Yeah, Guardians of the Globe Viciously. Team. Like, the sound yeah. effects in that shit when he killed the fish guy. Dude, and that's like, lower the volume. It was so and that's bad, why, dude. And that is why we talk about it like, <laughs> like yeah. it's a Tarantino because uh, the whole episode going up to it's that, it's like tame. the son. It's, ra- it's very tame. Son yeah. gets his powers. Dad is showing him the ropes. Like, very like, oh, okay, you know, and it's like father, son. Bonding as as he comes into this age, gets this power, and and it's like all about the sun. And then you know you see all of the superheroes just get called into they're, you know to meet Avengers at their yeah tower esque type at the place. at the Black Wings. Um, you know, or, I really thought they were going to that one battle because like I think uh, um, uh, uh, Invincible got called went to a battle where like shit was happening and it was I, I think after he took down the guy with the laser arm mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. then there was like another battle after that and so and i think one of the guardians was there fighting and then they like cut to a different guardian getting the call so i thought that everyone was getting the call to go to that battle so when they all ended up at like the base station i was like why the fuck is everyone there that shit is what is going on right now? Yeah. I didn't even put and much then, thought. Yeah, you just it's, see I'm the just one like, motherfucker when he comes through with that no very first blow. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh it's going down. <laughs> Yo, it was that was an epic scene. And just when you thought, like, man, one of them is going to survive. None. No. Nope. Not a damn fucking one right yo that was uh such a such an epic scene and he fucking just passes out and then everybody's like we still don't know why no we still don't know why if he was in control if that was him but we're seeing we're seeing little little instances of his rage like when he jumped in like when he went through the portal and like literally just wiped out that entire alien race. Like he's the like full home, fucking... he's like Homelander, dude. Like yeah. we said, it's like the boys, but he really is like a, it's like an old Homelander. I, yeah, it's guy, like too. the it's like the fallen. Like the he got the, tied the, at the, the wife hero. before he killed everybody. He yelled at the wife, and she was like, "What's gotten into you?" Is he he says he said I forget what it was. It was about when he was training him, and he was like, ah, "I don't think he's got," or some shit. Or she said something like, you know, don't be so hard on me. And he was like, Arr. she was like, yeah. oh, my God, what's gotten into you? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And that was the first time you actually saw any type of rage out of him. Yeah. And then, like, right after that, he fucking murked everybody. Murked everybody. He murked everybody. And uh, so so I'm, I'm, I am now I uh, I'm more excited, super, I'm more excited, excited for that. that. Yeah, no, Homelander got punked, dude. He could have. He could have. Remember, like, the, he had, like, the, like, the vision of him, mm-hmm. like, murking that whole crowd with the laser, and you're like, oh, shit. But Omni, dude, Omni Man actually did that shit, dude. Fucking murked Word. a whole bunch. I believe this is, uh, this is based on, on, on a comic book series, right? Yes. It, I believe okay. so, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm more stoked for this than so I am right for now, Falcon yeah. and Winter Soldier. Right now, um, just uh, just giving you guys a heads up for anybody that's out there that loves comics. It is Fridays, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, For anybody who enjoys comics, right now, Amazon is um, is allowing you to with your Prime subscription. Obviously, during with Prime reading, you can read the first three comic books from March twenty second to March four uh, to May fourth. You can actually read the comics for free, so uh, at least the first three volumes. So, if you're into that. Jump on that. Um, do we have any more to talk about on that? No. Yeah, no. Just we'll excited touch for on more. Touch on it yeah, the week, excitement yeah. for it. Um, I'm definitely excited for that. So want some, some answers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some answers now. <laughs> but, but now we have that thing. So we have Thursday with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And, uh, Falcon and oh, Winter no. Soldier comes Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Friday's for both. I was going to say, damn, I've been waiting a whole motherfucking day. Yeah, no, Friday's for both. Um, so we, we have two shows to watch on that day, so. 
All right, guys. But if uh, if there's nothing else to add, we're gonna we're good. Everybody's good. Hit that fire outro. We're still. Nigga, you gay? We are. See, look yes, at that. Still not used to much. it. Still not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, we've reached the, the end of the episode. I'm still not used to the new theme song, but it's fire. I love the beat. Um, or, as always, if you enjoyed this episode. Please rate, review, subscribe. Uh, let all your friends and family know that insensitive culture is the shit and that they should rate, review, and subscribe. Also, catch us on YouTube if you are not catching us on YouTube already. Um, shout out to the DFAT crew. Uh, so, yep. <laughs> Don't forget a towel.com. Also, if you want to catch up on any of the other DFAT shows on our network, uh, hit up or, or search for DFAT Entertainment in your favorite app, and you will get a list of all of the episodes that are uh, or all of the shows that are associated with our new network. network. All right. Network. So, uh, but other than that, we love you guys. Peace. 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 MRTA pass. What's good? Smoke that weed. Smoke that weed. Smoke that weed. Smoke weed every day. New York out here. Spark it up. Spark it up. If you in New York, spark it up. And we have that. And if you're not, soon. spark it up anyway. Fuck that shit. <laughs> spark it up all over the globe. <laughs> Peace, guys. Peace.